This is a HeadGum Podcast. Greetings, Nadpoles. It is I, the Breakfast Wizard, here to talk to you about Magic Spoon, the sacred artifact I use to cast my serial mancy spells. After years of... Oh, what's that? Ah, oh, it turns out this is an ad for Magic Spoon the Serial, not by Spellcasting Focus. As such, I'm going to let Caldwell take over. Ta-ta! Hey gang, Caldwell here. Sorry about that. Real quick, here is what you need to know. Birthday Cake Flavor is back. That's right, this limited edition cereal was so popular that Magic Spoon brought it back, and now you can get it for yourself. For a limited time, Magic Spoon is offering a free box of birthday cake cereal with every purchase, including subscriptions. This cereal is normally $10, so this gift with purchase is a great deal. To take advantage of this offer, head to magicspoon.com slash pawpawbday to grab a custom bundle of cereal and get a free box of birthday cake and try the magic for yourself. Remember, this exclusive offer is only available to NADPOD listeners. So go to magicspoon.com slash pawpawbday to add a free box of birthday cake to any order. Magic Spoon is so confident in their product, it is backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they will refund your money, no questions asked. Okay, the Breakfast Wizard is still loose in my house somewhere, so I have to go. Thanks for listening, and see you next time. Hey guys, before we start the show, we just wanted to make a few little announcements. First off, thank you so much to everyone who donated to our Patreon. It means so much to us. We've already met one of our milestone goals. So guys, we're going to be hosting a live stream jamboree. The jamboree is back on, Kalu baby. Kalu Kale. Kalu Kale, kid. Kalu Kale. <laughs> Complete with green teen costumes and campfire songs. That's going to be live on the Patreon for all our patrons on Wednesday, May 23rd at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Yeah. That's Hollywood time, baby. <laughs> Hollyweird, California. <laughs> yeah. Guys, we're going to hang out talk about the show, answer your questions, and be merry. Additionally, this coming Monday, we're going to be releasing our first episode of Mixed Bag of Holding. That's for our $10 patrons and up. We're going to be doing a fun battle royale called Monster Madness, where we pit shitty monsters against each other. Emily Caldwell and Jake will draft crappy monsters like flying swords, riding horses, and bullywugs, and I'll DM them having a big funny battle. So, uh, yeah, thanks again, guys. Now, here's our episode. Uh, and if you want to listen to the after show, head on over to patreon.com slash nadpod, N-A-D-D-P-O-D, right after, and sign up to be a patron onto the show. Welcome to the campaign after the campaign. This is not another D&D podcast. Welcome back to Bahumia, everyone. I'm your Dungeon Master, Brian Murphy, joined, as always, by Jake Hurwitz. Hard one, Surefoot. Emily Axford. Moonshine Sabin, murderer of innocent goals. <laughs> <laughs> and Caldwell Tanner. <laughs> Beverly Togold V, the dad detective. Nice. That's a little. He's not a, a children's dad book himself. Series, not. But... A, I'm not a dad. I just. I just do detective work to find and and uh, release dads from false okay. imprisonment. So you have like a a mustache and you're a dad. No, right? no, 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 no. Okay. No, I just all I just of the deal... Amazon reviews are one star because <laughs> nobody knows what this book. The is title was about. very misleading. <laughs> a dad just... detective, but he's not a dad. That's he... dad related. Too big for dads. Dad only got related. sons. <laughs> Cool. Guys, let's do a little recap. So last week, you guys went to Galateron Castle to attend the trial of Beverly's dad, who had been charged with the murder of the soon-to-be High Septon, Merrick High Hill. You found out that Bev's dad was discovered at the scene of the murder with his sword covered in blood. Bev's dad claims that he was attacked along with High Hill and blinded in the scuffle, but the boy king did not believe him because he was in a pissy mood. Without a new High Septon to name, the boy king would not get to have his weekend party and someone would have to pay for it. After some weak lawyering by Duncan Pebblepot, <laughs> Scoutmaster Denny's dad, uh, you guys elected to do a trial by combat. Beverly fought the crag, the king's beefed up half-orc barbarian bodyguard in an intense duel, but unfortunately was defeated. The boy king was ecstatic and wanted to do the execution right then and there, but Moonshine suggested that he hold off until the weekend so he could still have his party, <laughs> and the king agreed. Respect. 
So after the trial, you met up with Captain Galad Roselle, who suggested that the widow must be behind the attack, and that if you could prove that it was her, perhaps you could get Bev's dad off the hook. You guys wandered down to the lower Galateron docks to confront a mouse folk guy and a bear folk guy who had been observed having contact with the widow. Uh, you found them working on an old airship and confronted them, but they launched it into the air in an attempt to escape you. Uh, after a brief airborne combat encounter and some further talking, the mouse folk eventually recognized Hard One as the son of Elias Stormborn. The mouse folk revealed that he had been uh, your father's first mate and that you are all currently aboard the SS Stormborn, your father's ship. Uh, oh, also, the widow is Hard One's mom. Of course. <laughs> I promise if you listen to the episode, it's not that much of an info dump. It just sounds crazy in the recap. You forgot that we hung out with old Cobb for a bit. You also hung out with old Cobb <laughs> for hung a bit. Hung out with old Cobb. God right. bless him. That was the meat of the episode. I don't know why that wasn't most <laughs> yeah. of the recap. So then old Cobb said... <laughs> <laughs> old cop's sort of the linchpin for everything yeah. for every event here it all the, goes back to old cop yeah, he's the greek old chorus Cobb. cool so you guys right now are airborne in the ss stormborn this airship flying through the sky uh you guys see the lights of galateron glistening in the moonlight uh you're there with red who is this mouse folk guy and gunther who is this bear folk guy uh hard one yeah uh red just told you that the widow is your mother all right <laughs> all right I, I lean over and i say i'm i'm really sorry about all of the dirty things i said about the matron of your house <clears throat> uh, <laughs> all is forgiven and you were Are the you? only one that ever mentioned her aesthetic I'm... appearance and, yeah that is yeah right. sorry the widow is my mother yeah uh well i mean you know she's uh he looks over at Gunther, and Gunther goes, <laughs> like, nodding, like, go on, tell him. And he goes, uh, she's, you know, uh, she's not really your mother anymore. She's, she's a revenant. She made a deal with a god so that she could come back to get her revenge on Galad <sighs> Roselle. Do you know what god she made this deal with? Yeah, she made her deal with, uh, uh, what was the, uh, G Gunther, what's the name of the god? He's the god of, uh, uh, he really liked Elias. He's the god of strength and storms. And Gunther goes, ah. And goes, <laughs> right, Cord. Cord was the god that she, uh. Cord? Cord, that god knew my dad? He didn't know, look, uh, you know, your dad, kind of a champion of the sky, flying around, strong, hot shot guy, flying through storms and shit. Cord liked that. And you, your mom, so do you know. I. Wow, she... pickle doesn't fall far from the jar. <laughs> <laughs> so what does she need revenge for? What happened? Look, kid, if I tell you this, are you going to go do some crazy shit? Because I've lost a lot of people because of them doing crazy shit. I'm probably going to do do some crazy shit, yeah. <laughs> All right. But he'll have some friends doing even crazier shit. Uh, I love, guys, I got to be honest, I love trouble. I love <laughs> getting right. into trouble. Let's That's go, Uncle Red. Like shit. Okay, uh, it's actually devastatingly sad, though. Sure. So, uh, we pass around a skin of wine or something? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I it... take out my flask of crick water mm -hmm. and huff some and pass it around. <laughs> oh, is that crick water? Let me get some of that. I haven't had that in forever. Oh, okay. You got a taste for it. Oh, yeah. You guys pass the flask around and have a little drink. I look at Bev's pocket where I know the arcane is. <laughs> <laughs> I cover the pocket. And he goes, so it, your mom was one of the chosen back when they were just a small sect, when they were just an offshoot of the Oath of Devotion paladins before they were really their own thing. Uh, but, you know, she met your father. They had this kind of... Will they, won't they, white-hot romance. Uh, in the end, she ends up kind of winning him over from the pirate life. He helped us. You know, we all fought in the war against the giants before we had just been pirates, but we helped Galateron. We saved Galateron from the giants. Uh, we were lassoing him and shit outside of the airship. It was real cool. I dap him up. Yeah, <laughs> he, <laughs> dap, he, he gives you dap. <laughs> but, uh, you know, after the war, your, uh, your mom and yeah, your dad settled down and they had you and, uh, you know, Galad and uh, some of the other chosen uh, weren't too happy about her 
marrying a pirate and settling down with a pirate. So they made her choose between her oath and, you know, her family. And uh, she chose her family. And that ended up being a little bit of a death sentence. Because then the chosen... Piece of shit. That doesn't sound like anything a paladin would do. That doesn't sound like... Well, they're kind of they're kind of pricks, kid. I'd like to pickpocket the rookie card out of Beverly's pocket. <laughs> uh, do you want to do a stealth roll, or do you want to just let Beverly feel it? <laughs> um, I would like to do a stealth roll. Definitely do a stealth okay. roll. Do a stealth, oh, my yeah, gosh. Do a sleight of hand <laughs> to try to get the rookie card out of his pocket. Okay, that's... Uh, it's only gonna be nine. <laughs> uh, Bev, do a perception. Your passive perception is more than nine, so Bev, yeah. you feel her reaching into your pocket. Woo! Woo! Card. <laughs> it's my back pocket. <laughs> and I say, young Bev, just give me the rookie card. All right. <laughs> and then I give it to hard one. Do what you will. Throw it out the window. No! <laughs> uh, okay. It hits a bird. <laughs> so my mom, Paladin, fell in love with a pirate, captain of the sky, badass. You guys save Galateron. She marries him. The Chosen are mad. She chooses our family. They murder my dad. Glad Roselle and a couple of the other Chosen guys tracked your family down. Uh, your dad died so that the two of you could get away. Your, your mom, you know, she, she gave you to us so we could get you out of the city. Then she confronted Glad and, you know, she was killed. I knew I hated that guy. Well, you know, our, our crew used to be mostly dwarves. We knew some good guys who had grown up in the dwarfenage. I, you know, your mom put you in, in our care, me and Gunther here, so we, we took you to the only place we knew to take you. Got to be honest with you, the dwarfenage was a pretty grim place. Uh, you it know, wasn't that fun. <laughs> I'm Whoa, sorry, kid. Y'all, we have never heard Hardwon speak so freely before. <laughs> yeah. It's coming out. That was almost 30 years ago. Then suddenly, about six months ago, she shows up as this undead magic lady, told us that because she broke her oath, her soul was lost in limbo. She was wandering the astral plane for decades, just plotting her revenge until she got an offer from some god. Six months ago. That was... I was just when I was leaving Iron Deep. Maybe Gosh. you were feeling something. I don't know. What was that god again, Gunther? Which dude was Cord. that? Cord. Go- Cord, right. Shit. I always How do you forget keep on stuff. forgetting the name of a god? Uh, you know, I'm a fucking pirate, man. I don't really... Uh, <laughs> You know, go in for God so much. There's no reason that uh, the widow might have some sort of agenda to kill Merrick, right? The widow wouldn't hurt anybody who was innocent unless they were in the chosen, in which case she would kill them and then animate their bodies and then make them kill their friends. So, you know, sort of a chaotic okay. neutral type, yeah. if you will. <laughs> oh, I totally will. Here's the thing. I understand that you want to leave Galateron, that it's dangerous for you, but... I can't let my mom or the widow do this on her own. He can't let his dad die. No, not she's got to mention, shit to settle at the crick. Yeah, not to mention, I mean, we've de- we're definitely pressed for time to get Young Bev's dad, uh, uh, sort of stage some sort of jailbreak to get him uh, not executed. That's a working plan. Yeah, yeah you can't right all these wrongs yourself, but maybe with us. You see, Red looks down, and he goes. Your dad would always talk me into doing stupid shit. He would always talk me into doing stupid shit. <laughs> and Gunther goes, <laughs> Y'all, I, don't, I know you're running, but why not, you know, one last job? One last job? That's yeah. kind of cool. Yeah. One last job. One last job. One last job. Ah, fuck it, we're in. All right. All right. Um, Woo. Moonshine starts whipping up some, like, cocktails with crick water oh dang mm-hmm. yeah she's like a rifling around for like egg whites or <laughs> lavender sprigs or whatever she nice. might find on board yeah just check out our bar cart we got <laughs> she just pours it into papa's mouth and shakes him like a cocktail shaker and then pours out <laughs> <laughs> i chug straight from papa <laughs> that's that drink is called papa's kiss <laughs> Um, I guess I get some paper out and maybe start uh, planning this heist. That's another thing. Do you know who might be able to give us information about 
Uh, I don't know if there's one big dungeon in Galateron. I don't know if there's a special one for those slaughtered to be executed. Oh, if you want to know about the shady goings-on of Galateron, <laughs> you talk to your Uncle Red. All right, Red. All right. Yeah, so, okay, so he is a prisoner of the king's. Yes, sir. So he's going to be in the dungeon under the castle. Okay. So the dungeon is the only thing in the castle that is actually in the mountain. Everything else is built on the mountain, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what if instead of going through the castle, you went through the mountain? You were Y'all. talking to the right <laughs> fucking human dwarf guy. <laughs> the widow can't exactly be seen walking around, so she's actually been hiding in these abandoned mining tunnels inside the mountain. Because mm. you see, uh, what was it before it was Galateron, Gunther? He turns to Gunther, and Gunther goes, ah, ah. Right, it was called Cragwater, okay? It was a dwarf city that was inside the mountain, right? Uh, And they used to mine mithril. There used to be mithril in the mountain. And so all the mining tracks, a lot of them are still in there. uh, And the ruins of the city are in there. And that's at the uppermost point. If you can get there, it's a giant cavern. All you got to do is burrow your way up somehow. Oh, Um, we know how to burrow. (laughs) Yeah, y'all, I can just turn into a giant badger and burrow. Oh, my goodness. Through solid rock? (laughs) Do badgers do that? Well, I got other tricks up my sleeve. All right. If I, if I turn into a badger, I'm not going to stay a badger. We're a tricky bunch. Red, how how do we get there? Let's say we're crazy enough to do this. How do we get there? Uh, I mean, the widow says that uh, she hops up on top of the tram between middle and upper Galateron and just kind of jumps to one of the old tunnels. Mm. Apparently, you can see the track hanging down out of, out of one of the old tunnels. Oh, we're tram surfing. You will indeed have to tram surf. God, I love this shit. I wish I wasn't fucking old because I absolutely cannot go on this quest. I'm going to be the getaway driver, but if I could, I would. Red, um, I had a little notion that I might share, which is if we could get someone to destroy those little purple orbs, we could make it all rainy and cloudy up there. Mm, That's an interesting idea. You know those little orbs that control the weather? Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah. How do those? How do those work, ooh, Gunther? Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, how I do raise they, my hand? Yeah. What? Uh, yeah. What kid? It's oh, an arcane it? weather control technology. Um, and then I explain more because I re- <laughs> learned about it in history class. <laughs> wow, that's really interesting. <laughs> yep. Just a little tidbit I picked up. Wow, I don't know how. Is that called a PowerPoint? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're essentially talking about walking into a castle courtyard and stealing a bunch of lamp posts that would be pretty difficult all right so if we're going into this mountain you're gonna be waiting out here right what about old cop oh um i think he's in i call old cop yeah <laughs> we need a team i take out my stone do, do i have service in the sky does my stone have service in the sky <laughs> it sounds it sounds really distant uh okay. old cop sounds like he's in a wind tunnel i, I turn to i turn to red you're gonna love this guy he's hilarious <laughs> <laughs> all right I'll, I'll put it on speaker this is old cop Greetings, old friend uh moonshine here i got a favor Rather, I have an invitation. What's that? I love a good party. (laughs) Party was already laughing. (laughs) (laughs) Well, as you may have heard, we're trying to break out young Bev's father, and we think that you should get in on this. Um, I whispered to Moonshine, he's kind of a sharpshooter, right? Maybe he could take out the, the weather spheres. You ever turn that blunderbuss on a magical sphere of weather control? <laughs> uh, not specifically. You know, old cop kind of takes pride in having been around the block, so you kind of stumped me on that one. Been no, I've not block. shot a magic weather orb before. Well, perhaps that's a block you need to go around. <laughs> so are you suggesting I go up to the castle by myself, <laughs> waltz into the courtyard, and start shooting out Magic I- posts. You're with- the man, old Cobb. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you might want old Cobb end up in the stocks with his okay. head cut off. You know what, old Cobb? You're right. Uh, my toes stepped a little beyond my reach. So I would say if you- there was anything that you thought that you could do. Mm, you know what? Uh, I can shoot <laughs> shit. <laughs> 
Yeah, we that can also we can also just like maybe meet up and workshop this if if nothing that I'm saying is finding, you know. Yeah, maybe we need like a brainstorming session. Yeah. <laughs> Let's pick up old Cobb. All right. We got to right. touch this airship down, Red. Oh, old Cobb. <laughs> You'll never believe this. We are on an airship, and would you believe who we ran into? Who? Was it somebody from the Crick? Oh, I'm sorry. No, it wasn't. But you know what I did run into recently? Who did you run <laughs> oh, into? Oh, sorry, Moonshine? got off track. Um, <laughs> we ran into Hardwan's uncle. His uncle. Yeah. I well, thought you might like that story. I Those run Crick into folk love running into people. You know, I'm from the Crick. I run into <laughs> people's uncles all the time. <laughs> oh, I, also, I'm pretty sure I'm your uncle, Moonshine. <laughs> That's true. I believe we are related through a couple different webs. <laughs> If you uh, come across the widow, just don't shoot her with the blunderbuss. We'll explain when oh. we when we meet oh, up. All right? right. Yeah, yeah. Just don't shoot the widow. You yes. got it. Uh, all right. Us chatting like a couple of great chatterboxes. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Oh God, I guess this phone call was premature. We have a couple <laughs> things to iron out. I showed up in a wrinkly dress, and I need to take it to the cleaners before I come to this date. I, I understand that metaphor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, old cop out. out. Love old cop. Love old cop. I'm sorry, guys. I was premature in calling him. I think I told you to call him too. I, yeah, I, I just like hearing him. I like. He sa- knowing- I mean, he sounded really cool. Yeah, he sounded cool, guys. I like knowing that he knows what's up. I I, I don't yeah. want to keep old cop out of the loop. Yeah. Okay. So he's definitely in for sure. But we may need to spell out to him what we should, what we need him to do. Yeah, Mister. We're, we're doing a jailbreak here. Absolutely. This is a full-on heist. Mr. Oh, yeah. Red, would we be able to count on the widow to help out with this plan, or is, is is she kind of outside of our dominion in any way? If she's not out hunting the Chosen, which she pretty much is all the time, unless she gets killed, in which case she usually, uh, she tells me she kind of reappears back in her resting place, which is in those tunnels in the mines. Oh, okay. Oh, and she, how long ago has she? did she kill herself in front of you? Um, uh, probably about a day ago. Did she kill herself and disappear? I have it. Right, in, do right that. before my eyes. She'll yeah. do that. She turned into a fog cloud. Yeah, yeah. fog cloud. Yeah, yeah. I... Storms get it. Oh, I see. Ah. Ah. Damn. Yeah. I wish I knew her when she was my mom. What can I say? <laughs> yeah. All right. So why don't we take a rest on this on the ship tonight? Preferable. Sounds great. Crack a window. Get some nice natural wind. I mean, we're in out there. on the deck. We're in the air right now. This is great. Yeah, I know, but I'm, I'm saying when I'm sleeping, I'm assuming I'll be sleeping in the hole unless we're sleeping on the deck together, <laughs> in which case... Deck, one deck, big sleepover. deck, one, one big deck, deck, one big deck, one big, big deck. deck. You guys pull up your sleeping bags and <laughs> is everyone kind of going to bed? Or Yeah, Moonshine is going to sleep again. She's uh, She really felt like she fit in last time uh, that she slept in, that she slept. On, we're getting in sync. Uh, before we go to sleep, like as we're winding down, I, I go over to Hard One, uh, and I, I just say to him, Swan, you know, I'm I'm here for you, whatever you need, um, but there's one thing that I need you to help me with. Uh, and, I, and I take out my sword, and, and I ask him to uh, strike the engraving from it with his axe. Oh, cool. Can I oh, do that? Just like Lord. slash through it. Would oh, his axe be dope. Just like fuck it up. Yeah. So it doesn't say stay cool, Galad Rosell anymore. Yeah. Just cut it up. Go for mm-hmm. it. So, <laughs> don't don't break the sword. <laughs> um, all right. So I take my take my axe. I in, I cross out "stay cool" uh-huh. and I just write "fuck" <laughs> uh, <laughs> over over Glad Roselle. So it says "fuck Glad Roselle." Uh-huh. As really, you cut into it, yeah. There's like a dispelled magic effect on it. <gasps> oh, so it's not magic anymore. They were spying on us. You just there a, a magic effect dispelled. Um, can I do like detect magic to yeah. find out what it was? The magic is gone. The magic has been dispelled. Uh, it's can no I s- longer a magic sword. Yeah, is it no longer a magic sword? Can I say it is that? no longer a magic sword? Damn, but it is still a magic work. Huh. Or a, uh, <laughs> it is still a masterwork sword. It's still a plus one sword. It's okay, cool. Anymore. But it's not magic. All right. Sorry about Y'all, that. Y'all, we might have been getting spied on. Yeah, there's a chance that. Uh, well, I, oh, I did my sweep for bugs, and I didn't even think to look in Bev's pocket. <laughs> it says fuck now. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Beth. Nice one. <laughs> Give him back his humor patch. That's pretty good. <laughs> Give it to Hard One. Okay. He's killing it over I, here. Uh, I laboriously sew it onto Hard One. <laughs> Great. It's on my traveler's cloak now. <laughs> it's, that's the entire night. <laughs> um, while everybody's falling asleep, I, can I walk up to the 
the, is it it's steered like by the big deck. Ra- yeah, can yeah, I, yeah yeah it's Sweet. like a big pirate ship essentially awesome yeah wanna, red's up there kind of driving it i want to take a look at the take a look at the wheel i want to put my hand on it do you want to drive yeah all right uh yeah, red moves out of the way uh and lets you drive you guys are just kind of gliding at this point that's cool hey kid uh you know i'm i'm sorry that the dwarfenage was tough but you know i'm I am a rat man, and my <laughs> life sucks too. So I, I hope you know we didn't, we didn't drop you off to get rid of you. Your mother didn't want to get rid of you, but uh, life just sucks. You know what I mean? Yeah. It just sucks ass, dude. Everything, <laughs> everything in my life has been absolute. Sh- like, it was hard earned. That's why my name is Hard One. Yeah. You know? Do Do you want to know your real name? I'm you... a little afraid because Hard One's pretty awesome. <laughs> it's a good name. I mean, I don't go by my real name either, so don't sweat it. People call me Red because of my red hair. We're gonna start calling you Gray pretty soon, huh, Red? That's fucked up. Right. That's fucked up. But you know what? That's the kind of ball busting we used to do here on the SS Stormboard. <laughs> I think I like the SS Stormboard. Uh, yeah, we Red. used to call ourselves the Band of Dudes. Just a bunch <laughs> of dudes up in the air. Riding around, having a good time. Wow, we uh, our our crew calls <laughs> calls ourselves something pretty damn similar. <laughs> uh, Red, what is my birth name? Hey, you're Elias Stormborn the second. I place my hands on the same wheel that my dad used to turn, and I just nod. Moonshine interrupts this with a <laughs> night terror about Shay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> is that a terror? That's a- you see, hard one, as you put your hand on the steering wheel, lightning shoots out of the sky. Whoa. But no rain or anything. The storm. Damn. The storm is born. End of episode. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where we're just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> All right, let's uh, rest. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you get some sleep, kid? You got a big day tomorrow. So uh, that's a full rest. Yeah, you guys get a full rest. Woo! So it is now the morning before Bev's dad's execution. You Holy guys shit. wake up after sleeping beneath the stars in the air. The sun is rising. It is peeking out from behind the mountain and the castle of Galateron. The sunlight is cascading off of the ocean on this beautiful morning. Uh, Moonshine's rummaging through the food supply to mm-hmm. see what they've got. See what she wants to make. What's in there? Dried oats and stuff. Ooh. And uh, she just spits in her hand and moistens <laughs> up the oats. <laughs> like I mean, like my mom gave There's us some salted pork and things that can yeah. last for a while. I think cool. my mom gave us some breakfast bars. Yeah, you guys have food. <laughs> we got You're more fine. of those buns too. Yeah, great. I'm gonna eat uh, moonshine's spit. <laughs> <laughs> spit oats. I whip. Yeah, yeah, I whip up some nice spitty oats. <laughs> I reluctantly I love eat crick the oats. food. Yeah. <laughs> I've got the bun. I make no? oat okay. sliders for you. <laughs> Just oatmeal on a bun. I, I put the buns back into my pouch. Like, no, the, the oats are good. This seems fine. <laughs> All right. So uh, if you guys are going into the mountain, you guys just want us to wait at the docks. When you guys escape, you you come down to the docks and we'll we'll shoot off again and fly off. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, the last thing I would say is uh, so. Obviously, I, I'm a bit fixated on coming up with some kind of distraction. <laughs> Perhaps that is extraneous, and we don't even need that. Us going up and suddenly blowing up the front of the castle or something isn't going to help you guys down in the mountain. It's only going to make it obvious that a jailbreak is in place. That's Y'all, fair. While Red was talking, I had the best idea for a distraction. <laughs> <laughs> we should send in a children's theater group to put on a show. How? <laughs> I know, just the kids. Bev. We've done some jailbreaks in our days, and okay. you don't want to make a big fucking scene. You make All a right. big scene, and then you just got a battle on your what hands. What about a little scene, like the size <laughs> of a child's theater troupe? You know, I don't Little think the scenes. king and all of his men are going to come out to watch some kids singing, but <laughs> if that's what you'd like to do, honestly, okay. I don't really know you, lady. Uh, you seem nice enough. You're my f- I friend's made you, kid's friend. I so. made you cocktails, sir. <laughs> that is absolutely true. Uh, I, I s- actually have quite a bit of a hangover from that. <laughs> yeah. I am a functional alcoholic. I do drink quite a bit. So. Well, then. Damn right. <laughs> 
My, my dad kept some CD company, and I love it. <laughs> All right, I I uh, rescind my need to get a uh, distraction. Should yeah, we let's tell? Just... Let's just bring old Cobb into the mountain with us. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> yeah. Here's an idea. Let's meet up with old Cobb and then get him to give the stone to Red so that we can contact him when we're ready to go. <gasps> Young. Bev, I'm giving you your logistics patch. That oh, nice. is good. Wow. We give Red the stone, and we take Old Cobb into the mountain with us, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, we asked him if he wants to come. You never know. It's true. He's a wily one. Yeah. All righty. Well, l- let's land this thing and-, and get going. All right, kids. You want to call Old Cobb as we're as we're touching down? We call yeah, Old Cobb I'm and tell him to meet us at Upper or Middle Glader. Middle Glader on Tram Station. Cool. So I call him. I tell him that. Great. Do you want to act that out? This is old Cobb. <laughs> hey, Put him on speaker, Moonshine. <laughs> okay, yeah, of course. I put him on the speaker. I say, uh, meet us at the, I was going to say Midgar. That's not what it's called. <laughs> That's Middle, Final Fantasy VII. I'm Middle <laughs> Galateron. Middle Galateron uh, tram station. You got it. Feel free to wear a disguise if you feel like that'd be fun. Ooh, that might be I might put on a new hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. All right, Moonshine out. No one better than you, old cob. Old cob out. <laughs> cool. Uh, so Red lands the ship and goes and parks it in the dock. You see it's sunrise, so there are dock workers kind of getting there for the day and showing up and working on individual ships. Should we try and do we need to kind of stealth our way out or are we going to? Let's just, you know, let's just, we're just normal people in a normal city. Just cool. taking the tram. Make sure to leave that stone with Red. Cool. I said, uh, you know, don't look through the pictures. There might be something. <laughs> oh, <there. laughs> all right. Uh, so, so you you'll call me when you need us to come pick you up. Yep. Got yes, it. sir. Guys, be careful in there, cause uh, Widow says there's like fucked up stuff, like goat men. You guys goat ever hear men? goat men? Y'all, I'm just gonna say this. I think we're more fucked up than anything that's in there. Yeah. yeah. I'm not scared of goat men. We've met a lot of. <laughs> we, we've met a. We've met a lot of adjective plus men. All right. If I don't see you again. Thank you. Hey, kid, it was an honor knowing you briefly as my adopted nephew. <laughs> I'm, uh, you know, I'm pretty sorry that I left you in a terrible place, but you would have had a shit life living with me and Gunther. It sucks. It yep. sucks here, man. It was going <laughs> to suck no matter what, it Uncle Red. <laughs> <laughs> life sucks, kid. That's right. Uh, but it used to rule. <laughs> man, before you guys were around, whoo, there were adventures to be had. Giants around. Oh, then story. you had Theala and Ulf. Oh, the whole gang. Oh, it was crazy. Yeah, we'll yeah. tell you what, Red. One last job. <laughs> One last job. We're going to make things suck a little less. Kalukale. <laughs> Kalukale. <laughs> That's the thing we say. Cool. So you guys like going up to the tram? Yep. So you guys told Old Cop to meet you at the middle Galateron tram. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you guys get to the lower Galateron tram. And you guys see a bunch of people kind of waiting there to go to work for the tram. And you also see uh, three chosen paladin guys, like, kind of standing guard over near the tram. Okay, before we go over there, three of us need to split up. Just same car, stand on opposite sides, though. Yeah. Cool. Good good plan. Cool. So the tram arrives. Yeah. And you guys see that there are, like, three mm. cars that can hold about... 15 people each that mm-hmm. pull up into the station. You see the chosen guys wait for a second, kind of eye you guys for a second, and then they get onto the middle car. Can I stand near the chosen guys and, uh, or like stealth near them and try to eavesdrop? Sure. I um, I take my neckerchief uh-huh. and I put it over my head uh, to disguise myself a little bit. Yeah. Oh yeah, considering you're the boy of yeah. the guy who's right. sentenced to murder. I'm, I'll put my hood over of my from a traveler's cloak yeah. over my I'm a braids. I, Person of interest, to be sure. I shove my distinctive possum into <laughs> my overall bib. So. These chosen guys get onto the tram. You guys and a crowd of, you know, seven or eight other people, you guys fill up this tram car. And so, Moonshine, you have, like, your hood up, and you're yeah. sitting near them? Uh-huh. I have okay. my cowhide hood up. <laughs> cool. Yeehaw. Um, these guys are just sitting there, not saying anything. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'll have to be okay with that, then. Maybe I'll lean over and say... I just want to thank you boys for your service. <laughs> uh, thank you. We are all brothers and sisters of the light. Uh, we, we just serve the light, that is. I'm just saying, y'all are cleaning up this city, and I could not be more grateful. 
Uh, give me P a deception Lord check. be with you. Here. <laughs> 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 yes. uh, I got 20. Okay, cool. Uh, this guy goes, it's an honor to defend you and everyone in this city, milady. Oh, I fan myself and blush. <laughs> Uh, so you guys get to the tram pulls into the middle Galateron tram station and you see old Cobb waiting there at the tram station. He's Is got he a, a different, hat? he's got a different hat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's got like a bandana on. It's kind of bold. Oh, tight. Maybe go back to the old hat, old cop. He's not on the train. You guys oh, said right, let's get the we gotta, we're, get, we're getting yeah, so off. We all get off. Um, okay. Is there like a vending machine I can go diddle at until the train leaves the station so again? So you guys, okay, so you Because I want those guys, to them and their train to go away. Uh -huh. Okay. Since I made myself known to them. As you guys get off the tram, uh, you see those three guys follow you guys out of the tram into the station. Hmm. And as you look around the crowd, you see that there were three other guys in the train in front of you and in the train behind you. So there's nine guys. Nine guys. Okay, um, so and we Cole don't Cobb. convene again. We okay. don't convene. No, yeah. Okay. Um, fuck. Okay. Can I try and, like, walk a bit away and see if they follow me or if they're, like... Sure. Yeah, I'm going to try and lead them away. Okay, so you start to walk off? Yeah, maybe just towards, like, uh, a newspaper stand or, like, a soda fountain. <laughs> right, those things that they have in Galatron. If there's, on. like, a Johnny Rockets, I don't know. Sure, yeah, you can just round the corner. Yeah, there there's are, a Jersey Mike. There are, there are little <laughs> shops and stands and such. Okay, cool. Yeah, I head towards a, uh, a shop. What is everybody else doing? Well, I would like to watch this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because I have something I'd like to do, but I want to see what they, how they, they have react. Roll a deception check. Okay. Uh, I go down to my knee and pretend to tie my shoe. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a nine. Okay, cool. So you walk off trying to act casual. <laughs> These guys don't move. Um, why don't you give me a perception check, hard one, and moonshine, if you guys are kind of looking over at them. Ooh, that's going to be... 25. 25. Hey. Yeah, you definitely saw them, like, shoot a glance over uh, at Beverly as he walked around the corner. I but rolled kind of What did I see? <laughs> These guys are just fucking... This was just their stop, man. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're just calling it a day early. They're hungry for Jersey Mike's. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. I'm. I would like to. Are there any like little beggars? Is anyone around? gonna say anything to Old Cobb? Old Cobb's just standing there. Let me. Let I don't know. I make eye contact with Old Cobb, oh, okay. and I kind of like give him like a not like yet. Like a no. Okay. Yeah. So Old Cobb tries to like he he gives you. A, mm, and he's he, acting natural. Yeah, he's acting natural. Um, he's just spitting. Are there any beggars around? Sure. Oh my god. I would this like gonna be good. to. I would like to. Uh, approach one. Okay. Hey, you looking to make some coin? I'll pretty much do anything for a copper. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm trying to stay discreet, and I need a distraction. Oh, the distraction oh. finally comes what to fruition. You, <laughs> what, what, what did you have in mind? I would like you to just go about 20 feet from here and just start screaming bloody murder. Oh, okay. <laughs> And what do you and what what do you do for me? I'm gonna give you ten gold pieces. Uh, hell yes, I will scream <laughs> for ten gold pieces. I would scream. Well, I scream for actually, 10. Give, them, give them five well, no, you for can't right go, now and then five. You can't. No, you can't. You can't take it back. You gotta give me. You no, give it'll me 10 be ten. Gold. I would like to take a second to just decide exact precisely what I want you to do. I would like you to. I don't want you to hurt someone else, but can you pretend to hurt someone else? I could just push a guy over. <laughs> oh, Malora. I'll I just punch a guy in the head. <laughs> Malora, I don't think I should. Give me do the that fucking yet. gold. Oh, shit. Give me your you fucking know what? gold. You I'll said you were going to give me 10 gold. All right. All right. You don't don't act like you're entitled I'm to 10 gold. I'm going to fucking scream right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. I don't know what you're trying I to do. I want you to do. go start a freaking fire. You want me to start a fire? <laughs> yeah. That's going to cost you 50 gold. No, it's going to cost me 10 gold. Otherwise, the deal's off. Fuck, you're right. <laughs> Give me 10 gold and I'll go start a fire. <laughs> And while you're doing it, scream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just hand me the gold and I'll do it. Okay, here's seven gold. The other three are coming you when you... know I'm going to get... The other three I'm are have coming to when run. I'm, I'm making s'mores I'm going to have to run. I'm going to have to run. Yeah, and I'll meet you 
on the other side. I don't fucking trust you. All right, Give here's fucking 10 gold. Okay. I don't care. But just know, I have a photographic memory. So if you don't start <laughs> that fire and scream bloody murder, I'm going to find you and I will skin you alive and I will make you into a hot plate of gumbo. <laughs> Hard one heard all of that as he's tying the shoe. Uh, Super right. pumped. Beverly is ordering a Reuben. <laughs> yeah, Beverly's at a food truck. Beverly, as you're at the food truck, uh -huh. suddenly this crazed vagrant <laughs> runs up yelling, <laughs> and just lights a Molotov cocktail. Oh, no. And tosses it into the food truck. Oh, jeez. And it explodes. You guys see these paladin guys all run and take off towards the fire as another three tram cars pull up. Great. Okay, let's hop. Old Cobb, yep. get on time. the tram. Right. Stop. We're we doing this. On. Good shit. Uh, old Cobb <laughs> gets onto the tram car with you guys. So six of these guys are distracted by the fire, but you guys see as the tram doors are closing, three of these night guys get into the car with you. Oh, shit. Uh, and the one that you just talked to, Moonshine, goes, stop, you're under arrest. Um, okay, I hop up onto the roof. <laughs> <laughs> I say, come cuff me up here, bitch. So you'll need to either, like, smash a window with a pretty high DC, or you'll have to, like, go through the cars in between and climb up. Yeah, is there, like, a little, like, panel that we it's can like climb a, up through? Think of, like, a New York subway okay, train yeah, right, where between. there's, like, the little connector things. Oh, oh, gotcha. Hard one will do that. He's a good climber. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So you guys are going to take off? Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Cool. Everybody roll initiative, and I'll see if they grab you guys before you get away. Can I? Oh, I got a five. I got a 20. Can I shout Ooh. that? Hold on. I'll, I'll ask him. So. Ooh, that's a five as well. Okay, cool. So, hard one, you act first. These three guys have just gotten on the tram with you. You see everyone else are just these normal commoners. They look super scared. Uh, these knights draw their swords and yell that you guys are under arrest. Uh, I, one you act first. So I am going to use my axe, break the window of the car. Okay. Uh, and then scamper up. And can I just put my arm down for give me, Moonshine? Give me an attack roll on the glass. Uh, so 20. 20. Yeah. You smash the glass. And I'll let yeah. you use your movement if you want to do a athletics check to see how quickly you get up. Sweet. If I get if I roll high, can I get up and then also extend like the uh, the wood part of my axe to Moonshine and sure. Bev? Oh, nice. Hell yeah, because it is a twenty six. Awesome. Hard one smashes the window, jumps out, climbs on top of the tram, moving super fast. Right now, you guys are outside of the mountain, so all of the wind is hitting you. Is my, uh, how's my hair look? Uh, your hair looks awesome. It's Ooh. blowing in the wind. Oh, Dope. damn. Your crick knot blowing in the wind. <laughs> oh, uh, my God. Floppy little crick You knot. hold down the butt of your axe for the other guys to grab. Okay. And Papa can climb up my crick knot. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds grosser every time you say it. <laughs> uh, the knights actually go next. So the first knight is going to go after Moonshine and take a swing on her. 18 to hit. That's going to hit. Cool. He's swinging a great sword for nine damage. And then he takes a second hit. And he is going to miss on his second attack. Second guy is going to go for Beverly. Takes a swing. Misses on his first swing. Woo. Takes a swing. Hits on Ugh. his second swing for... Eight damage. Okay. The third knight is going to do an athletics check to climb out the window, and he succeeds. He gets out the window, and he grabs onto the butt of your axe hanging off the side there. I'm going to need you to do an opposed strength check wow. against this knight to see if you have to let go of your axe oh, or no. fall off. G can I swing my one of my throwing axes at his hand? Nope. Fuck. So that is a 16. Beat him by one. Oh. Yes! So this guy gets God, out I lost on, my axe. <laughs> onto the side of the tram car. He's yanking at your axe, and you guys are just in this tug of war. That is you, Moonshine. So I'm just going to look at the guy who just hit me and say, I think you uh, I think you might be seeing things. I think you might be chasing ghosts. And then I'm going to put my hand on Beverly and cast Invisibility. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then... What? Witch! She's and, a witch! And then I'm just gonna run. <laughs> okay, so he's gonna get an attack of opportunity as you run away. 
and he rolls a one. So he, <laughs> yeah, he, baby. He, he goes to attack you. He stumbles over Beverly. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm like, yikes, your judgment might be off, friend. <laughs> What? And I'm running, I'm running away. I'm going to try and go into another car. So you open the door, get in between the cars. You going up or are you going to the other car? Oh, no, no. I'm going up. If I can okay. go, go out there and Give me an athletics check. Come on, Moonshine. <laughs> I had a nat one. You got a nat one. Oh. Okay. You go to start climbing up and you fall precariously between the two cars. You're just hanging there in that little connector area. I look down my I look down my overall bib and I say, Papa, are you okay in there? <laughs> Papa's hanging on like cliffhanger, like the beginning of, Off of my Ventura. overall bib. Uh-huh. So I'm hanging on. Yeah. I'm hanging on, and then from my overall bib, Papa's hanging on. Oh yeah. my gosh. Oh, Melora, this is too much. I say, don't worry, baby. I'm going to take care of you. Okay. Hard one. While you're on top of the car, I need you to go ahead and roll me a perception check. Oh, dear. Uh-oh. Of course, I have zero. 11. 11. Okay. You do see it. There is a stalactite heading right towards you, like hanging low. So um, you will get advantage on this dexterity saving throw. <laughs> roll a dexterity saving throw. 24, 23. Cool. So while you're wrestling with this dude who's hanging off the side, he's trying to grab your axe, you're pulling it back. You turn to your right, you see ahead of you on the track, there's a low hanging st- stalactite that would like decapitate you. You pull the axe back and roll out of the way and lay low uh, just as the car passes the hanging obstacle. It's like the end of speed. <laughs> does it hit, does uh, the stalactite hit the, the chosen guy? No, oh, okay. he's on the side. Ah, he's gotcha. hanging on the side. But now he's he's not hanging on to my axe anymore. He's not he? hanging on to your axe Did anymore. Did he fall no. or go back into the, he's hanging on he's the car? St- he's hanging on to the car. Got he it. was like hanging on with one hand while yanking you with the left hand. Okay. <sighs> and that is Beverly. All right. Invisible Beverly. <laughs> the invisible, invisible boy. <laughs> uh, Where I... are you, invisible boy? <laughs> Where'd that invisible boy go? I stifle my laughter. Uh, <laughs> he must be loving this. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm going to cast Nature's Wrath. Whoever's closest to me, cool. I'll, I'll uh, cast Spectral Vines, and then I'm going to book it towards uh, Moonshine. He is going to roll a dex save mm-hmm. as vines come up out of nowhere. Yep. Ah, which of you heretics did this? <laughs> 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 oh, I just rolled a d12. I was like, that's a big d20. These numbers are really big. <laughs> a nat one. Yeah, he's, he's totally tied up in these vines. <laughs> ah, the invisible boy. He did it. <laughs> <laughs> he's magic, that boy. And I, I whisper, fuck the lad Roselle. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, and then I run to try and help Moonshine. Cool. You run out to Moonshine. Yeah, you can use your movement. I'll, I'll say instead of um, climbing up, yeah. if you want to just help Moonshine up as you guys are in this little connector. I do. I, and I whisper, it's me, Beverly. I'm invisible. <laughs> she and knows. Then, anyone who's looking out the window just sees me rise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Moonshine is suddenly picked up by a tiny oh, Malora, ghost Oh, is that boy. you? <laughs> Melora. Ah, Moonshine gets to fly yet again. <laughs> <laughs> Papa's being dramatic. He's still hanging off, like kind of as a joke, just goofing oh, off. I whisper to you, play it up, play it up like you're a witch. Um, okay, I pretend to levitate, and, I'm, <laughs> and I, yeah. Uh, you see, on uh, now it is Old Cobb's turn. Oh old, yeah, <laughs> he's here. <laughs> old Cobb's there. You guys called Old Cobb. There's nothing I can do about it. You guys just get a cool guy that comes with you. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Uh, and he just goes. Well, looks like old Cobb's uh, gonna get a, a, a an outdoor seat. Uh, I, I don't know what to. He shoots a window. He shoots a window. Oh, oh, and he crits. Oh. Uh, old Cobb. Old Cobb just <laughs> busts out a window with his blunderbuss, and he'll do an athletics check to climb out. He doesn't do a good job. So he <laughs> blows it out with his blunderbuss, and he just hangs out, and he's just kind of hanging off the side. He like blows of out the too much there. of the window. Yeah. There's not enough yeah. left to grip. Oh, that hurts! That hurts, old Cobb, as he slides through these <laughs> little pieces of broken glass. Uh, and uh, that is hard one. Hard one. You are atop the train. I guess I'm going to swing at the guy that's trying to hang on to. Yeah, Who the guy you were that, wrestling with yeah. for the axe. Yeah, Got I'm going to swing okay. that, dude. I crit. That was Holy 20. shit. Yeah, 20, baby. 
Okay, so I roll 3d12s. Wow, ones and 20s all around. I love it. Whiplash, baby. <laughs> 21. 21 damage. Oh. Damn. Yeah, you slash into this dude That's as beefy. he's hanging on. Um, Where's Pelor now, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Well, he, they don't worship Pelor. Yeah. Oh, they don't? I, I wish no. they worship the light. <laughs> yeah. So as he's hanging on, he's starting to pull himself up. You cut across his back. You get under his armor in his back, and he just goes, Ah, oh, fuck! I uh, shouldn't have climbed out! Shouldn't have climbed out! That's a bad idea! <laughs> uh, that is the knight's turn. Oh, you know what? Yeah. It's not his turn yet. I'm going to oh, use my... Oh, you get another attack. Oh, yeah. Hell, I get yeah. another attack. another attack. Yeah! That's right. I get two attacks. Look at that. I learned the character a little bit. Red so proud. 20. Not a nat, but it's a 20. Uh, that does hit. Cool. That is a s- nine. He is still alive, but he is upset and he is hurt. <laughs> Ooh, <okay. laughs> I'm upset and hurt. Ow. I'm trying to climb here. I'm going to use my action surge. Fuck. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, him. bitch. Atop a top train just That's... critting and surging. <laughs> okay, and that is a 21, baby. <laughs> that hits. That hits. All right. And that is a 12. He is barely alive. And I get another... You fully, you fully like, cut his arm off as he's just hanging there. Dang. Right. And I still oh, get another roll, please. right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, fucking kill me. <laughs> All right. <gasps> yes. 25. Nice. Yeah, oh. it's, finish him. He's right. hanging by one arm off the side of the tram. Uh, I turn to my axe, Gemma. <laughs> and I say, Damn. I choose you to die on the train. <laughs> <laughs> and I cut off his other arm and I let him fall to his death. <laughs> oh, I'm not that clever! <laughs> Blood spurts everywhere. You see him bounce off the tracks behind you brutally. Oh, There are other people on the train, right? Sure are. They're okay. horrified. <laughs> oh, sense. ow. You don't see that every day. Just checking in. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this always happens on the G. <laughs> Somebody's just like late for work. Yeah. <laughs> so the one dude is still covered in vines. He can't do anything until the end of his turn. So this will be the end of his turn. And he rolls a damn two. So he still is just like, <laughs> find that invisible boy. Find him. <laughs> the people just think he's like losing his mind, maybe. <laughs> and this other knight uh, runs into the connector car. Okay, good. Have we... that's, that's right where I want him. Oh, we haven't scrambled up yet. No, you guys haven't scrambled up yet. Right. He's just going to take a swing at uh, Moonshine. Bring it on. And he misses. He rolls yeah, another yeah. two. The, these guys are the new band of twos, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, but he hits on his second attack. That's fine. Oh, boy. Not for a lot, though. Five damage. Okay. Um, I take it in a way that he thinks that he didn't hit me. <laughs> I'll try and keep this witch I thing. I saw you. I saw that I hit you. <laughs> or did you? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I never thought of it like that. <laughs> or did you? I whisper. <laughs> oh, the light. Is that you? <laughs> yes, it's me. Ooh. I am the light. Tell him to hurl himself from the train. <laughs> yeah. He just swings his great sword wildly. I call you to service. Kill the possum. Kill the possum. I'm just no. no. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, Piss that... yourself and jump off a train. Okay, wait. Moonshine just went? No, Moonshine hasn't gone yet. Okay, sorry. Moonshine, your turn. Um. Okay. How wide is this... Uh, is this plank? I ask because it's I have. It's tight. It's tight. So I have this thing that would would cause him to uh, move five feet in a random direction. <laughs> that would be bad for him. Okay, so <laughs> I would like to cast infestation on him. Okay. And I would like to say, do you take a shower this morning? <laughs> what does that have to? I you know I take the shower at the end of the day. Okay? <laughs> There's nothing mm-hmm. wrong with that. You get sweaty. Why take a shower first thing in the morning when you're fresh? I right? thought that yeah, might be the, the case because you look a little dirty. And then I cover, I infest him with fleas. What does he have to do? Um, he uh, must succeed a Constitution saving throw or okay. take one d6 poison damage and move five <sighs> feet in a random direction. <laughs> okay. He fails. Okay, so here's what I'll do. So it's a random direction. Yeah. So I'll it, say... It says it on here. It's a, You roll a d4. Um, one is north, two is south, three is east, and four is west. Okay, so roll it. If he falls uh, if he falls east or west, yeah. I'll say he rams in between the cars. If he falls north or south, I'll say he falls onto the tracks. Wait, can we flip a coin? Can we flip this yeah, fancy yeah, that's new true. coin? We just, yeah. yeah, we could just do... Uh, yeah, we've got a, yeah, we've got a coin here. Let's flip a coin. Uh, okay. Someone sent us a, a bunch of coins. Uh, fantasycoins.com. 
Uh, <laughs> shout out! You got your shout out. You got uh, your shout check out. out the Kickstarter. Um, but all right, so one one side has shield, one side has helmet. Uh, okay, so let's say it? helmet is helmet uh, is, is falling out of the traps. Yeah. Okay, okay. All right. Go. Um, oh, okay, I got it. No, 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 no. I like this. This is good. Helmet. <laughs> oh yeah, baby! <laughs> you helmet. Cover, you cover this guy in fleas, and he goes like, ah, ah, they're all over me. What did you do to me, witch? And he's just backing up the slightest amount and there is just this outcropping, this slight outcropping of this rock catches him on his armor and he gets sucked back out and you see him get crushed in between the train cars <laughs> and the side. Dope. Thou shall have no god but Pelor. <laughs> Um, and then I use my movement to climb up that, uh, yeah. to okay, climb so, up. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, do an athletic And check. I say, Papa, quit pussyfooting and get in my bed. <laughs> We're still hanging off. Papa's doing it for the gram. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I got a 22. As you climb up, I'm going to need Hard One and you, Moonshine, to do a perception check. Uh-oh. Nat 20. Nat 20. Oh, nice. Yeah. 15. 15. Okay, you guys both see it coming, and you guys both have advantage on your dexterity checks. You see that the tunnel narrows at the top, and if you're on top of the train right now, you're going to fucking crack into it oh, and shit. die. Um, so so both you guys, I have to climb right back down? So I'll say, since you were climbing up and you rolled a nat 20, uh-huh. so you kind of see, you poke your head up and then you're just like, oh, nope, okay, okay. and you poke, you poke your head back down, okay. so you're hanging off the side there, you're okay, hard one, roll with advantage, uh, dexterity, saving, uh, throw? saving throw, yeah. Great, that's a 23. Okay. And another 23. Cool. So tell me how you do it. Do you want to try to lay down and test it, or do you want to jump on the sides? Uh, ideally, I'd like to dig both of my throwing axes into the side and sort of do like a, like a swinging move back through the window onto oh. the train. Hell yes, yeah. that's fucking dope. <laughs> uh, yeah, roll me an acrobatics check, but I'll say no matter what you get to the side. It's just a matter of like It's just how a matter cool of how looks. badass it is. <laughs> It's not gonna be that badass because that was a three. <laughs> so hard one has this awesome idea. Uh, I look over to Moonshine. I say, "I'll be okay. Watch this." <laughs> you jump over. You stick your axes in. It's purely made of metal. They do not stick in. You quickly recover and use your hands instead. And now you're hanging on the side of the train. Ooh. <gasps> Three. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, you're just like using muscles you don't normally use, like those little finger, uh, those little finger muscles that you use rock climbing. My finger pulleys. Should have gone bouldering. <laughs> and that is Beverly. Invisible Bev. I, invis- the Invisible Bev. <laughs> okay, cool. I guess I'm just going to. Uh, are, are we past the the narrow part? No, you guys are still. Uh, the terrain goes after Moonshine's turn. So right now the terrain is still low. Okay. Um, hmm. You can just say you prepare a reaction or you wait on your turn or you can attack the guy who's in the car or you can get up next to Moonshine or you can climb on the side. Yeah, I don't wanna I, I don't wanna go out of my way to uh, to mess up the guy who's restrained currently. Okay. So I'll just uh, I guess I'll just prepare an action. I'll okay. I'll, kinda, I, I'll like shout at them and be like, Are you okay? I think you should kill the guy that's restrained. <laughs> <laughs> He's just going to get to the top of Galateron and tell everybody what we're okay, doing. Okay, I, I run over to the guy who's restrained uh-huh. and say, like, the light has forsaken you. You must remain in penance. Oh. Prostrate yourself. Prostrate <laughs> yourself before the light. And remember, Bev's invisible, so yeah. he's just hearing this. Mm-hmm. I saw you turn invisible, you little prick. <laughs> I slap him. <laughs> he, he takes the damage. With my shield. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, do you want to... Do you want to attack him, or what do you want? I would like to uh, render him unconscious, if possible. Okay, go for a um, an attack with advantage, okay. because he's restrained. If I roll twice because of advantage, and I get a one on my second roll, do I get to re-roll that? Yes. Nice. You, that is a question for a bad roller. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was like a five. It was a seven and a one, and then I re-rolled the one and got a five, so seven wow. plus. Cool, you somehow land directly on his helm and Donk. just goes, ah, that hurt a little bit. What's his AC? Because um, er, you don't have to tell me that. But He's wearing full plate armor. All right, cool. Cool. That is old Cobb. Nice. Who yeah. is hanging off the side, and he goes, well, it's been a long time since I've been uh, 
riding the subway quite like this. I mean, I'm used to economy, but this is nuts. A little old cob humor. I'm not going to do anything this turn, but I'm going to prepare a reaction just in case some fucked up shit happens down here. You're the man, old cob. Hey, thank you, hard one. Uh, that is you, hard one. Maybe I'll get myself in the train. We, we can't see the, like, secret passage yet. He told you that... If you get on top of the train at one point between middle and upper Galateron, uh-huh. there will be a track that you can jump to in like an abandoned tunnel. Yeah, okay. so, so you guys have to be up there at some point. Yeah. All right, so I guess I'm just going to keep on hanging you on to You might as the... well prepare an action, and if you see, you know, yeah. like... Yeah, I, I don't really have any actions to prepare. You, right? know, you could just have an axe be like, I chop off anybody who comes through this window. Great, that's oh. what I do. Cool. <laughs> Tight. Cool. So you're going to hold an action, attack anybody that comes through the window that you went out. Yep. Great. That is the knight who can't do shit because he's restrained. He's going to do a strength check to get out, and he crits. So he oh boy. finally bursts from the vines, and he is upset. <laughs> Where are you, invisible boy? <laughs> I'm, I'm nowhere and everywhere at the same time. You're a bad boy. <laughs> I don't know if people have ever told you that you're a good boy, but you need to prostrate yourself. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> don't do it, Bev. <laughs> Hard one yelling through the window. <laughs> Don't prostrate yourself, Beth. Everyone on I, the train is just acting like this is New York Showtime. Everyone's just like <laughs> looking down at yeah, their kindles. Is anyone throwing coins at us? <laughs> everybody's just trying to, they're just like, ah, oh, this shit again. They're looking fucking, at their stones. Fucking go later on. Fucking D&D cities. This crazy shit's always <laughs> happening here. I can, all right, well, it's not my turn, okay, so I can't so do shit. Okay, so the night just burst out. The other two are fucking dead. Um, that is you, Moonshine. Okay, so you're so on the side here. I'm hanging on the side. I'd like to stay hanging on the side, but I'm gonna cast heat metal on his armor. Okay. On like his chest plate. Great. Turn him into a goddamn jumble um, I think that yeah, any creature in physical contact with the object takes two d8 fire damage. I don't think he even has okay. a saving throw. Okay. Go for it. And then as a bonus action, I can make him take this damage again. Okay. Go for it. Um, so you can just sizzle his nips. With the the snap of your S- finger. Yeah, so I'm gonna sizzle this. Oh, is it toasty in the subway? <laughs> why the, isn't there proper air in here? This is why I take the hot air balloons. I feel fine shaking my hand. I always the take the hot air balloons. Where are you, invisible boy? Stop, drop, and roll. You ought to prostrate yourself. It's hot. It's hot in this armor. Prostrate yourself. Prostrate yourself. So he takes eight damage from his scalding breastplate. <laughs> Um, till the spell ends, I can use a bonus action on each of my subsequent turns to cause this damage again. Shit. If a creature okay. is holding or wearing the object and takes damage from it, the creature must succeed on a constitution saving throw or drop the object if it can. If it doesn't drop, the object has disadvantage on attack rolls okay. and ability checks until the All start. All right, so I'll say turn. that you're doing it to like his breastplate? Yeah. Cool. Um, constitution saving throw, he fails. So does that mean that he will... So you see he starts to take off his breastplate. It's like, "Ah, that? Is that? What did you do to me, Invisible Boy? Prostrate yourself. (laughs) What did you do to me, Witch Boy? (laughs) And then I just keep hanging on the thing. The light shall take your nipples. (laughs) No! (laughs) I'll use my my quote-unquote movement just to keep an eye out for whatever's coming ahead. Moonshine, since you said that, roll me a perception check with advantage. Uh, Hard one, you roll me a perception check. I got 22. I got a net once. You're going to have to tell me. Holy <laughs> shit. Uh, I will. I'll shout. Okay. Um, Olkov also got a bad perception roll. <laughs> so Olkov's just up there laughing with you. Hey, man, brother. Economy, right? <laughs> what do I see? Um, you see that the tunnel is narrowing at the sides. And then I, it's opening up up top. I say, oh, Cobb, jump up. We got a narrow tunnel ahead. Uh, everybody do an athletics check. Do I have to do one? Because I'm still, I haven't got That's a nat 20. Yeah, you're, oh. you're good. You're good, Em. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay. So you got. Oh. Look, Wait, I, you, you I got a nat, I, 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 I got a nat 20. I want to hop up there and extend my arm for old cop. Okay. I'm going to say, <laughs> okay, cool. Moonshine sees it, stays in between the cars, yells to Hard One, who is just laughing with old Cobb. Hard One turns, sees You crack that, me up, old cop. <laughs> sees that it's narrowing. Hops up to the top, grabs old Cobb and pulls him up, but old Cobb bashes his shoulder on the side uh, and takes nine damage, but you're able to pull him up. Sorry about that, old Cobb. <laughs> ah, shit. I should have been looking out. That's my bad. Old Cobb ain't no stranger to danger. <laughs> That's right. 
You get my good old cop. Really <laughs> Ain't the first time I've been hit by a fast moving rock. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Come on, old cop. We gotta we gotta stay focused, man. All right. We yeah, play dodgeball with rocks what... down at the creek. <laughs> This cop's got kernels to spare. Everyone's just yelling that over the train. (laughs) Uh, That is Beverly's turn. Okay, so the the sides are short, top is wide now, or top is tall. Yeah. Side short, top tall. Top Um, tall. Like a cool haircut. Cool. And you guys know eventually you are gonna, you guys know you are eventually gonna need to be up there. I guess I'll try again to um, uh, render this soldier unconscious. Is his AC going to be worse? Because he's trying to take yeah, off his Yeah, AC is going to be worse. Yeah, Ooh. cool. He's in the <laughs> process of taking off his breastplate. Yep. Do you have two hits yet? Does I do have two hits. Oh, I could have used a second attack then. Should have done it. Whoops. This time, uh, use it. Chest rolls. Okay, so right, you're, yeah. you're going to swing at this dude? Yeah. I'm Go ahead try and take it. a swing. Okay. All right. Uh, that was a four plus my attack. I say he only has eight. 12 AC right now. Uh, so did you just get a 12? Uh, I got you 12. Oh, nice. Cool. cool. <laughs> yeah. As he's taking his breastplate off, you uh-huh. slash him across the chest. <laughs> ah, I don't know what hurts more. <laughs> I don't know what hurts more. The slashing or the fire in my nipples. <laughs> this is Pelor's punishment. Uh, can I attack him again? Uh, yeah. Go um, for your second attack. Right. Oh, what was the damage? Oh. Shoot. <laughs> the most important part. Roll your damage, invisible I boy. just realized we skipped Moonshine's turn. All I was gonna do would just use the bonus action to hurt him, to do the more fire damage okay. from the breastplate. Sorry, Moonshine, we'll okay. do you after okay. Bev. 10, 10 damage. 10 damage, yeah. cool. And then- He's um, a pretty sturdy guy. Okay, now I'm just trying to run him unconscious. Okay, cool. Yep. Ooh, yeah. that's a 16 plus eight. Yep, that super hits. All right, cool. Roll your damage. That's a six plus seven, 13. 13, yeah. Okay, nice. he's starting to look Pretty fucked up. Are you gonna try to climb up or anything, Bev? Um, can I do that after attacking? Yes, I- I'll let you guys. I've been letting you guys use your movement. Yeah, to yeah. Go up. Okay. Um, I'll try and get up. Cool. I'll-, I'll go out the back so that I can climb up the top without getting on the side. Cool. Cool. Roll an athletics check Alrighty. to see how quick you are about doing that. <laughs> oh. Band of <laughs> the twos. The twos. Uh, Haunted by twos. Cursed by the band. Cool. You go to the little connector area between the two cars. Uh-huh. You go to jump up, and you miss grabbing onto the top, and you're just still at the huh. connector in between the two cars. I get cars. a flashback to the presidential fitness exam. <laughs> <laughs> when you couldn't do a pull-up in couldn't front of Erlen. Couldn't do a single pull-up. <laughs> <laughs> and Derlin could do two. <laughs> Surprisingly strong for his body weight. Crandon 20. Yeah. And that is old Cobb. We were about Wizard Moonshine. Moonshine. Sorry, that is Moonshine. <laughs> Please stop skipping Moonshine, sir. <laughs> All Moonshine is going to do is she's going to do that extra 2 D8, okay. that bonus action. Six. Okay. Then I'm going to and then I'm going to hop up on to okay. the uh, Give me an athletics check with advantage. Uh that's going to be 17. You you hop right up there. You pull yourself up. Woo! Sweet. And this hey, guy Papa. this guy has fully taken his breastplate off. Ah! <laughs> Cursed breastplate. Are his nipples uh, <laughs> smoky a little bit? Yeah. yeah, you see, it has burnt through his undershirt, and he just has a very red chest. It looks like he has really bad sunburn. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. I think we might have. We don't even need to kill this guy. We've destroyed his credibility. He's giving me a red belly. He, he, he went on to... Uh, a train full of passengers <laughs> declared someone was a witch, kept screaming about an invisible boy, <laughs> then took his shirt off. <laughs> yeah. yeah, everyone's just everyone's just not looking at him. <laughs> I think they're gonna discharge him on like dishonorable leave. Mm-hmm. Okay. That is Ol Cobb's turn. Ol Cobb is going to use his turn to just prepare an action, whatever needs to happen to jump or or actually Old Cobb doesn't even know the plan. So Old Cobb uh, turns to you hard one goes, hey, buddy, uh, what's the <laughs> what's the whole point here of uh, being on top of this year car? It's real badass and all, but... Uh, oh, yeah, we're going to jump into a secret mine pretty soon. Hey, can I hold on to your phone? <laughs> right on. Uh, he, gives you, he gives you the rock. Take my talking rock. Thanks, dog. And he's just, all right, I'm waiting to jump. <laughs> Got nothing but love for you, old cop. <laughs> so uh, he he kind of squats and gets ready to we are jump. N- uh, hard one, that is your turn. Uh, I'm going to, can I just extend my hand and help Bev up? Yes. Oh, yeah, nice. You can use your turn if you want to just, just do like a, a strength check with advantage to pull him up. Cool. Well, oh, wait, he's, he's invisible. I'm invisible. invisible. Oh, shit. All right, then. Can I just lean over can the- Can you do like a Marco Polo? Yeah, you can do a Marco Polo. Yeah. All right, cool. Oh, I play my flute. Soon as I, am. Wait, I think it should be, oh, that's good. 
That's great. And I creep towards the edge of the train, playing my wooden block. <laughs> <laughs> Creating magical whip, music. Whip, whip, whip. I, uh, strength check with, with advantage? Yeah. Come okay, and find me, I am here. Yep. Come and find me, oh my dear. Come and uh, find so me, was... I'm your boy. Come and find me, find my joy. That's what they play in the pool. Out of boy, Bev, I rolled a 23, <laughs> so I'm oh, hell yeah. Him up. Yeah, you, you reach down, grabbing at where you're hearing a boy play the flute, uh, and you yank him up like a mama kitten by his neck fat uh, and pull him up on top of the train with you. That is... Hi, hard one, it's me, I'm invisible. The knight. Got that. Who is mad... <laughs> And out of the vines. <laughs> and out of his chest plate. Yeah. And out of his chest plate. Out of the vines, but into the weeds. So everybody's on the roof. We're all yep. on the roof. So this dude, <laughs> <laughs> this dude is going to do an athletics check. He's going to climb out. Why don't you get on the roof? Super successfully uh, uses his action. He climbs up on the roof and he's up there and, he's, and he goes. No breastplate, right? No breastplate on. Mm. Just red chested, red bellied. You see he has, he looks like this real built guy when he's got all the armor on, but he's got a little bit of a gut, a little bit of a paunch. And he looks at you guys and he said, I said you are arrested by the light. Uh, and he's going to take a great sword swing at you, hard one. Bring it on, man. You really shouldn't have climbed Just on this roof. swinging so desperately at you and he misses. <laughs> he swings down as you roll out of the way uh, and he's going to take another swing at you and he's actually going to hit. All right. Uh, so he jumps and he desperately, desperately is trying to take you to hell with him. <laughs> and he gets, he does nine damage to you. Cool. And that is Moonshine's turn. This is not necessarily the most strategic thing. I just want to fuck with this guy. I'd like to cast Infestation on him now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, you cast it. Uh, he has to say, succeed on a, a roll, right? Yeah, he has to do a constitution saving okay. throw. He's going to do a constitution saving throw. Emily, is it specifically little fleas? Is that what the card says? It can be fleas. Um... Fleas or any other parasites. Oh, I was just wondering. I'm if gonna be... give him bed bugs if, <laughs> if I can. Uh, he passed, so you oh, see passed. the bugs start going all over his chest, and he just slaps at them. Ah, ah! <laughs> damn you! His skin is too hot for the bugs. To <laughs> damn you, bug woman and invisible boy! <laughs> um, Does he take half damage or anything? I don't think so. Okay, he just successfully squashes the bugs. You think I haven't been to a cookout and smacked some skeeters off my belly? Oh, hold on. <laughs> Y'all have cookouts? Of course. Well, we call them barbecues. <laughs> you probably oh. have a whole bunch of other people cooking the meat for you, right? No way, I man the grill. <laughs> oh, I kind of like you this You see in this guy. belly, I man the grill. Do you do dry rub or wet roast? Dry. Boo! I like everything dry. <laughs> I, I love dryness. That. I can, okay. Uh, everyone, I the while the grill. everyone is on top of the train, give me a perception check because oh there is an important thing coming, y'all. Nice. I got a 23. Okay. Even with my zero modif modifier, I got a 19. Nice. Now I want to kind of recruit this guy okay. for the mission. I got a 16. If he likes a good 16. BBQ. Yeah. You guys all, including old Cobb, you guys do see another tunnel deeper in the mountain that you guys are about to pass that there is a track hanging down almost like a ladder that you can jump to. All so right. as it passes, I'm gonna need everyone to make an athletics check. Since you guys, athletics or acrobatics, since you guys have perceived it, you guys saw it coming, you guys have advantage on your checks. So it is Beverly's turn as you guys rocket towards this okay. track that's kind of hanging like a ladder out of this abandoned tunnel. I want to try something. Okay. Uh, I want to ready my rope. I want to like give one end of the rope to someone else. Oh, and okay. And I want to misty step up to the ladder. Ooh, yeah, bitch. So that I can pulley up uh, everyone else. Wish I stopped. I okay. Wish I stopped and then I'll that. what I'll do is I'll uh, plunge my sword into the side of the um, whatever is there so that I can try and steady myself because I am the smallest person. Ha. You could definitely misty step up there, tie it around okay. and kind of have it as like a safeguard for somebody to grab I'll do if that. they fail. Yeah. But um, as a little guy, I don't know that you could like pull up people. Okay, yeah. I'll just, I'll misty step up and tie a rope. Again, don't, don't. Great. Bev is invisible, so we just see a rope <laughs> pulling itself up onto. Yeah, a rope just goes up. It looks like Invisible Batman threw it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you get up onto this track in this abandoned tunnel. Bev, you are hanging there. You stick your sword into the stone, yep. and you got your rope tied up there, and it is now hanging. Not that since bad. That is Old Cobb's turn. Old Cobb <laughs> goes, Cobb. well, 
Haven't had to jump off a subway in a long time. <laughs> That's not particularly clever, I apologize. He jumps <laughs> with advantage. Old Cobb makes it. Old Cobb gets up to the ladder. Old Cobb, um, they call him Old Cobb, but he's spry. He's, mm-hmm. He scrambles. Still got some pep in his step. He yeah. scrambles up the track. Hard one, that is your turn. Got some pump right? in his jump. Still a few kernels on this Cobb. <laughs> Say 24. You said roll with advantage, though? Yeah. You're going to make it with a 24 anyway. Cool. 24. Let's go. Cool. You, how do you do this, hard one? All right, cool. I'm going to try the uh, the throwing axe thing again. Dope. <laughs> yeah, you do that. Cool. cool. I'll say with a 24, you succeed wildly enough that you jump up and you use your two axes. And instead of using the track, like a very easy ladder, just an easy grab, you stick your axes in and hang by the rocks. I make my own ladders. <laughs> <laughs> And that is the knight's turn. He <laughs> is going to try to jump up onto the ladder, too. Uh-oh. And he succeeds. Oh, I guess he could use my rope, huh? That's fine. <laughs> so he jumps up, and he is now hanging up on that ladder. I'd rather have him with on us the than tracks. heading it back to Upper yeah, Cabron. So, so that too. is you, Moonshine. So you're okay. in sort of a precarious position because you've got this guy hanging there now. That's okay. I'm still going to try and jump on it. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Hmm. 16. 16. You make it. So now Moonshine and this knight are both hanging there. His bare chest is up against you. Ah, ah, you're the one who gave me sunburn. <laughs> um, Beverly, that is going to be your turn. Here's what where you guys are right now. Um, Hard One, Beverly, Old Cobb are all up in this abandoned tunnel. There's this track that is jutting down like a ladder hanging down a little bit. And Moonshine and this knight, this bare chested knight are hanging there wrestling each other. He's trying to pry her fingers. Bev, that's your turn. Okay. Um, I shout down at the knight. I am still invisible, by the way. (laughs) <laughs> Hi, it's me, Invisible Boy, remember? Wait, don't if you attack, you lose your invisibility. Oh, is that true? Oh, the spell ends for a target that attacks or casts a spell. Got it, okay. So, so Bev, we did that wrong. Right, so Bev, you are <laughs> Bev, you are actually not invisible right now. We okay. should have taken away the invisible once you attacked, but it didn't matter. He never got a chance to swing at you. He was yeah. always tied up in vines. So, Bev, you're up. Okay, I say, hey, it's me, Bev. Remember, I was invisible before. Yeah, you're... You're not invisible now. I'm going to kill you and your friend. Prostrate yourself. I already Uh bare chested myself. I'm going to give you one chance. I don't want to have to drop you onto this tram, but I will. I will return to the light. And you all, you all will be damned to the nine hells. I don't know why you're trying to save this guy, though. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. You you perverted the light, and I'm afraid you must be punished. Um, Yeah, I'm going to cast command, which is just, I I say I'm going to cast command, and then you roll a dice. Okay. Uh, You must succeed on a wisdom saving throw. Got it. Okay, he fails. I guess I just say, stay. Okay, stay, (laughs) like, on the track. All right. Oh, or have him, wait, stay on the track? Just, like, stay stay hanging there? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Can I just say freeze or stay? Yeah, I'll just say, I shout, Stay. Good doggy. Oh, that <laughs> might really help me out. You got it. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, fine. I, 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 I feel like I, I need to stay. That's okay. right. Uh, then it's Old Cobb's turn. Old Cobb is just going to pull out his gun <laughs> and blast this dude's head off. Uh, well, <laughs> he just shoots him right in the face. Uh, the guy falls back onto the tram. He gets torn up even worse. And he turns to you, Beverly, and goes... Sorry, but that guy just didn't have any hospitality. <laughs> Is he dead? He's the guy? super dead. Okay. Uh, old Cobb pulls up Moonshine. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I'd like to uh, strong grip handshake Old Cobb real quick. <laughs> That's what's up. Put her there, brother. Old Cobb, that was great. Right. Mr. Yeah. Cobb, we, we might disagree on methodology, but a success is a success. <laughs> I shot that man in his face. You that's sure just about did. the funniest thing you could put in that blunderbuss. <laughs> Some real bullets for that dude's face, man. Um, okay, so what do we see now? So you guys... Are we on a mining track Yeah, now? you guys are on a mining track. So all you guys see is a pitch black... Tunnel. I would know my way around one of these because I spent my entire life building this. Right, exact so hard kind one. You would you would know that along the minecart track that there will be like little excavation sites and stuff. And you also know from what Red told you that 
your mother was staying somewhere along the tracks along the that track. she has like an improvised living space in one of a little like cave right, hard cool. one how concerned do you think we need to be about traps i think if my mom's or the widow whoever she is now if she's made her home down here it feels like it's flying under the radar of okay. the chosen all right no but. i meant uh i meant traps from this previous fallen kingdom you know, oh. ancient traps from a different time. No, uh, us doors, we're just we're just mining machines. We don't want to make anything anything that's tough to get the the product out of the mountain. You oh, know? okay. All right, good then. I, I will not be concerned about that. So you guys are gonna start walking in the tunnel? Yeah, yeah but right. I I don't I don't totally trust Hard One's evaluation. <laughs> so I'm keeping an eye out for traps. Yeah, cool. Uh, I want to use just divine sense to detect evil or undead. Oh, there is. Something ain't right. Uh oh. Something ain't right in this tunnel. Guys, something uh, something ain't right. Something isn't funnel in the tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> you don't detect undead, but you do detect evil. Okay. Hey everybody, it's Emily here to talk to you about aura frames. Mother's Day is coming up, and some of us are looking for a way to shower the maternal figures in our life with love. Well, Look no further. Aura frames are the digital picture frames that bring all your photos and videos together in one gorgeous high resolution display. They're super easy to set up. They save you from the struggle of printing and framing your favorite photos, but most importantly, they help you stay connected with family that live far away. That's because you can kind of preload a bunch of pictures onto the frame, but you also get to keep adding pictures and you can invite the rest of your family to add pictures. The gifts you make mean the most. So this year, turn your family's past into the perfect Mother's Day present with a connected frame from Aura. Right now, Aura has a great deal for Mother's Day. Listeners can visit AuraFrames.com slash pawpaw to get up to $30 off on their best-selling frames. That's A-U-R-A frames.com slash P-A-W P-A-W. Plus, listeners can get free shipping with code P-A-W P-A-W at checkout. This deal ends on Mother's Day, May 14th, so don't wait. Terms and conditions apply. Goodbye, sweeties. Hey there, Nadpoles. This episode is brought to you by Rocket Money. Do you know how much your subscriptions really cost, folks? Well, most Americans think they spend around $80 a month on subscriptions, but the actual total is closer to around $200. Holy hell. If you don't know exactly how much you're spending every month, then you need Rocket Money. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Over 80% of people have subscriptions that they forgot about, and chances are you're one of them. Like that Stars app just to watch that one show or that free gaming trial you never actually used. Well, Rocket Money will quickly and easily find your subscriptions for you. And for any you don't want to pay for anymore, just hit cancel and Rocket Money will cancel it for you. It's that easy. Rocket Money also helps you manage all your finances in one place and automatically categorizes your expenses so you can easily track your budget in real time and also get alerted if anything looks a little funky. Over 3 million people have used Rocket Money, saving the average person up to $720 a year. Wow. So stop throwing your money away, cancel unwanted subscriptions, and manage your expenses the easy way by going to Rocket rocketmoney.com slash pawpaw that is rocketmoney.com slash pawpaw one more time for you rocketmoney.com slash pawpaw thank you um how i guess it's not very fine-tuned i can't be like so- evil's right there no, 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 all right cool how about it's not this? a dragon ball radar <laughs> <laughs> something's misaligned in this mind <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> really good mm-hmm. they you only also say that. something ain't fine in the mind yeah. No, I like misaligned. Yeah, it feels better. like a little more like... This shaft ain't aft. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Something's gone daft in this shaft. That's better. <laughs> this All is right, why she well, does it. <laughs> should we get going then? Should we like uh, yeah. make a torch with our adventurer's kit? Yeah. Let's... Yeah, you guys can do that. Cool. 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 So you guys make some torches. Make a torch. I do have fine trap stock. Mm. So... I, it's 120 feet, so I guess I'm like waiting till we're in the right place to use that. Uh, you see, Old Cobb turns to you, Moonshine. He says, "Yeah, I don't know that there's gonna be traps in an old abandoned mine, but you know, maybe save your spells because I'm I'm smelling the air here, and something ain't right." 
Mm, okay. Traps and distractions. Unnecessary things for Moonshine to worry about. By the way, old <laughs> Cobb, it's a story for another time, but the widow's my mom, so let's not kill her. Is that right? Yeah, brother. Yeah, nobody was kind of clear on the plan with old Cobb. <laughs> old Cobb, you know. I'm so sorry about that, old Cobb. I just you want to know. help the crick. Yep. Yeah, you Same. know, sometimes lines get crossed, wires get frayed, you know. Stones get thrown. Stones, Stones get, get thrown. thrown. Cobb, you were destined for greater things. Hey. <laughs> we're going to do more than find this widow. We're going to save the crick. <laughs> All right, let's just proceed forward. Hell yep. yeah. All right. um, do I have little night vision goggles for Papa? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> Absolutely what do. What a fucking dumb Although he like, maybe, at night. I, maybe I bought... Yes, night. Papa's the one person Papa's that doesn't need vision. them, but yeah. he should have them nonetheless. But maybe I have regular goggles just so that he doesn't get soot in yeah. his eyes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you have mining goggles for Papa. <laughs> And he kid. looks cute as hell. Oh, nice. I've got, I've got looks, mining goggles, you too. Do, you do have uh, night vision goggles. Yeah. Uh, but a torch would also help you guys because yeah. it's still, you know, low so light vision that. is only so close. Yeah, but cool. Papa is cool. wearing So you guys light goggles. up torches and you start making your way through the tunnels. You guys see, like, turned over mine carts. Uh, you see that the tracks are kind of bent and obviously haven't been used in a while. Uh, but you guys do find several little, like, excavation sites where the rocks have been picked clean. Hmm. So you guys kind of stop at your first significant one that's, like, pretty big, that goes pretty deep into the center of the mountain. Okay. I'm, just, just, a- I'm just putting it out there to any spirits who are lingering that might feel as though they have unfinished business that I am... a f- a friend of death and decay, and if y'all are concerned, I can go to your corpse and cast gentle repose on it and help you pass over. We are always nice to ghosts. Yep. <laughs> we have never been mean to a Just ghost. Put That's it right. Out there. Don't know if anyone's listening. <laughs> you guys hear nothing. <laughs> yeah, uh, and old cop walks over uh, and he starts just investigating and seeing if there's anything there. And he rolls very poorly on his investigation check, and he just goes, "I don't, I don't really see anything." Let's see if I can peek in there, cop. Go ahead. Still a zero. Seven. Seven. Hard one. You don't find anything either. I'll just do looks an like it hasn't it hasn't been used in years. <laughs> I guess we're all investigating. Cool. So mine is actually my roll is actually going to go to Paw Paw. Okay. <laughs> um, and it's a nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. Yeah. You see. Pawpaw scampers over, sniffing at the ground, uh, and he starts yapping near some footprints. Ooh. Good boy, Pawpaw. <laughs> See, that's why I got to put the goggles on him. They're actually prescription. He's got a big <laughs> He takes off the, He starts clawing at his eyes, trying to get his, He reads at night, and it just <laughs> r- wrecks yep. his eyes. That's what my mom said. He's just sticking his tongue up into his own goggles, <laughs> licking them, trying to get them off. <laughs> Trying to bite Papa, at his own you head. You know they're good for you. You know they're good for you. I know they don't. You don't like the way they look. I think you look handsome. So you guys see <laughs> cloved footprints. Oh shit! That's that. These that's those goat men. Are the goat yeah. men. Well, maybe we know what ain't right, huh? There's hmm. a bunch of fucking goats in here. Are they two-legged are we- goat? Are they? Are they? Does it look like they are two hooves or four hooves? Mm, they look bipedal to me. <laughs> oh. That is sinister. Man, you know you, sh- you know a little bit about biology. That's fun. Um, yeah, normal goats walk around with four legs, whereas goat man <laughs> walk around with two. Thanks that's, for that. That's just some old cob knowledge. There. <laughs> <laughs> he teaches a class down by the creek. <laughs> I am the foremost expert in goat man at the creek. Do uh, we want to keep on looking for these goat men, or do we want to just... I think that maybe we just... I mean, because we're not looking for the goat men. We're trying no, to... No, we're trying, to, we're trying yeah. to find the widow. Okay, wait. Well, so this is like a little shaft? Like, is this is this like a little... No, so it's basically like there's the track, and then the dwarves essentially like dug a deeper cave oh. off of the track. All right, sweet. So let's turn around Should and we keep, keep on it. keep trucking up? Let's keep going, Cal. Yep. So you guys go back into the tunnel. You guys start going up. Somebody give me... Everybody give me a perception check. Hmm. Cannot win on the perception. 11. 8. Uh, 16. 16. Beverly sees something. <laughs> Beverly, <laughs> you hear the slightest little... <sighs> just weird. You can't tell do, if it's somebody in, like, pain or pleasure. Do, you, do y'all hear that? Uh, I don't think it was my mom. Can, <laughs> can you recreate uh, it for us? <laughs> can you recreate... I don't know. Do I know what it is? 
<laughs> is it coming fa- Is it coming closer? <laughs> no, it's not coming closer. Okay. Guys, there's something up ahead. Uh, and I can't tell if it's if it's in pain or if it's uh doing some sort of nasty adult dance. Um, but oh, it's up there. Goat men getting all kind of nasty stuff. Right, oh. let's, let's keep sneaking and up on it. I say goat men, but it is, you know, it's, you goat know, men it's, it's. Goat women. Yeah, right. It's goat, goat people, uh, goat really. Bay, goat Got it. Yeah. Right. How, Sorry, force of habit. Goat how, people. There's some goat people up there, maybe, uh. Old Cobb, how sexually, the hay. how sexually enlightened would you say goat people are? Mm, a little too much, so <laughs> perhaps. Okay. Are, they, are they polyamorous or monogamous? I would, ima- or I would imagine what? so. Uh, honestly, I'm kind of, I don't know as much about goat people as I, <laughs> I, may, have, I, I may have previously. <laughs> you don't have to bluster with us, Old Cobb. Yeah, I know. To be the foremost expert in something at the crick actually isn't so difficult, <laughs> and I'm kind of learning yeah. that as I leave the crick. My 375 years living at the crick. Uh, <laughs> Damn, I didn't realize you were old, old cop. Um, old as shit, brother. <laughs> what, um, that's old cop. What do we know about go people? You Are guys don't like, know much. I okay. say we go spy. Yeah, let's yeah. just go spy on them. Yeah, cool. for you sure. You know uh, what? We're probably going to take a rest before we do our little... Um, the heist. The heist. So you so want to do Pass Without Trace. I cast Pass Without Trace on all of us. All righty. It's okay. help us stealth. Great. Uh, gives so that's us a plus all 10 plus 10, to 10 to stealth rolls. Stealth. Cool. So you guys continue ahead. Are you still using your torches or are you putting your torches out? Let's snuff them. Yeah, let's yeah. stealth. Okay, you guys snuff the torches. Snuff and stealth. Uh, everybody <laughs> roll me stealth rolls. Ooh, 27. Uh, 26. I got Jesus, a, guys. uh, 27. Okay. Oh, I actually got a 31. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You guys all do fantastic. So you guys start walking up this tunnel. You guys see another little excavation site. Uh, the goats get louder. There are a bunch of them and you just hear ha, 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 ha. Like I whispered to Moonshot oh they're definitely fucking weird <laughs> shit. yeah I mean now at this point I just gotta see it I wanna know what it looks <laughs> so like so do you wanna you kinda sneak around the yeah. excavation site yeah I'm listening very closely cause to me it does sound like a mating call okay so <laughs> so are all of you guys going or just Moonshine or how do you guys I proceed I say we all stealth right sure yeah, yeah. 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 So you, guys, you guys all did really well so mm-hmm. everybody sneaks around the corner of this excavation site where it gets a little deeper into the cave. We're and doing another one of our pop out the heads around the corner. Yeah. Pop out the heads around the corner. Beautiful. Old Cobb's there too. <laughs> Old Cobb's on top now. <laughs> Old Cobb's before Old Cobb Papa. <laughs> climbs up on top, on top of Papa. Papa is upset. <laughs> <laughs> you guys see 12 goat men with like little tiny horns. They are eating the heart of another goat man who is laying on the ground, chest open, and you see two of them are just Lady and the Tramp style, like <laughs> making out while they eat a heart, and the other guys are just pulling at the entrails and like eating it and rubbing it on themselves. Okay. Just Y'all. Loving the blood and loving the guts. <laughs> this is some of <laughs> this is some of the least hospitable shit I have ever seen. Yeah, I can't believe I thought this was going to be an orgy. Hmm. All right, we got 12 of them. I mean, is it crazy? I just kind of want to go after them. I don't think they're going to listen to reason. No, I, I don't I don't want to reason with them. You want to just kill these guys rather than uh, sneak past them? That's insane. Yeah, you're right. Let's just sneak past them. This isn't my fight. <laughs> I wasn't I just, saying it because I thought it was insane. <laughs> there's part of me that's like, this is, uh, this is uh, uh, indecent. Yeah. This is a death that this no one right. deserves. It's true. Yeah, I'd like, um, can I do a religion check? Do I know what they're up to? Sure. Yeah. Would I be able to speak with animals on a goat man? No, they're humanoids. Okay. Uh, they might even, one? I mean, they might speak common. But you are arguably <laughs> lucky. <laughs> are, yeah, <laughs> lucky in theory. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It's always one to a three. God How many times it. has this happened? Uh, yeah, you. A I mean, lot. you really have no idea. Uh-huh. You wouldn't know these weird subterranean <laughs> I creatures. I look for... I'm kind of wondering if there's uh, this is some. This seems like some kind of sick religious ritual, yeah. or are they overtaken by some sort of demonic presence? Either could be true. That's true. Yeah. But I I do know one thing. I'd hate to meet my mother with uh, without some goat blood on my axe. <laughs> <laughs> Let's kill these fucking losers. I don't know. What do What's you think, the, about it? I'm just wondering if we could, like, cause a cave in and, and like... I've got Earth try Tremor. To do that. Oh, do you want to try and, like, lock them in here? 
Yeah, could I try to do something like that? Could sure, I go use for it. Make an attack roll. Say if you succeed wildly, you could possibly make some rocks fall. It's going to be tough to like do a perfect cave-in. Sweet. Can I also use my pickaxe? I'm a pro. Uh, yeah, so you guys are going to try to just like attack the wall before they notice you? Okay. <laughs> Wait, does that normal? Is it a normally a spell attack? or what No, is it? it's usually a saving throw. Okay, you're catching them flat hooved, so I'll have them roll at disadvantage. Okay. They're certainly going to like fall over and stuff and some rocks will probably fall. I'm also going to say from now on, on the podcast, I'm instituting something called the cleave rule, which is in the DM's guide okay. to make going through like minions and stuff faster because sometimes our combat becomes a little bit of a slog. Uh, the cleave rule is if you do enough damage to kill somebody, you can keep swinging and do damage to another guy. So oh, you get great. To swing through people essentially. Dope. So from now on, you will be able to swing through people. Uh, these guys have failed their check, so do your damage. Moonshine. Okay. So Moonshine does this earthquake, and suddenly the whole place starts trembling. Dope. The cave starts trembling. Oh, that's so sad. That's going to be one. <laughs> one damage. Uh, yeah, these guys, you see a couple but of them. But they're like, all falling prone, though. All of them fall prone, right. Yeah. Oh, cool. uh, so you see, as these guys are having this weird ritual where they're just rubbing blood all over their really muscular chests and like dancing around, suddenly the chest, earth though. starts to shake and you see some rocks start to fall down. These guys go, ah, ah, uh, and they fall over. Uh, everybody roll initiative. All right. Oh. Nine. Hmm, five. Seven. Well, you know, we get, I feel like we loosened them up. You know, mm. they're in difficult terrain, oh, and yeah. they're all on their asses now. That is old Cobb goes first. Yeah. So as Moonshine does this earthquake and knocks them all over, he goes, you sit them up, I'll knock them down. Or I guess you <laughs> knock them down, I'll shoot them in the face with my fucking gun. <laughs> uh, and he's going to shoot with advantage on one of them. And he is going to hit for nine damage. He just blows one of their chests open and it dies. Yeah. Uh, oh, he yes. takes a second shot and another guy and he crits. That's classic Cobb. Baby. And he <laughs> blows that dude's head off. Ten, two of them are dead. Wow. Ooh. Uh, that is their turn. On their turn, they hop up uh, and go, why did you stop our blood orgy? Oh. <laughs> So it was an orgy. Oh, Laura. Uh, well, back. not. Uh, I mean, you know, we what were just we were serve? just making out and stuff. It's a pretty, uh, you know, kind of like a first base orgy. <laughs> you eat someone's heart out for yeah, first base. You know, we have standards. <laughs> and I thought my ex was bad. <laughs> uh, so ten of them. Three of them will go after each you guys, and one of them will go after Old Cobb. So let's roll for all three against Hard One. They all miss. Ooh. Uh, Moonshine. First guy is probably going to hit. That's a 17 to hit. That hits. Okay. Uh, they have, they hit. have swords. They are going to. Oh, they have swords? Yeah, they okay. got like rusty, rusty, disgusting long swords Ooh. that they clearly like stole from the old dwarven ruins. I can't get tetanus because of uh, my pact with Pelor. <laughs> That's instead of immunizations, That's actually true. you just. Uh... <laughs> uh, so he only does two damage to you. Moonshine, uh, third guy is going to take a swing, and he crits for 16 damage. Okay. Um, I and fucked up my goats. Three guys are going to go after Bev. Two guys miss. Third guy crits. 12 damage to you. 12 damage? Okay. Yep. And then one guy is going to go after Old Cobb and misses Old Cobb. That is you, hard one. Nice. So you got swinging. 10 of these guys. Great. I'm going to swing my great axe at one of the guys that's attacking me. Yeah. That is a 21. 21. That yep. super hits. Cool. And that is a 12. 12 damage. Cool. Not only do you cut one in half, you start to slash into the other one. <laughs> Great. I have had like a, a, like a helicopter swing with my axe. <laughs> yep. Cool. And my second attack is... Damn, I don't think I'm going to hit. With, that's a 13. That hits. Wow. This These are just shir shirtless goat people. Nice. How tall are they? Six feet tall. Oh, well, okay. I'm definitely going to kill this guy because I just did 18 damage on him. Oh, he's gone for... Oh, dude, you kill him and the guy next to him. Wow, you just, so I just like oh. helicopter swing my axe through all three of you them? Cut through, you cut through that guy and you cut through the guy next to him. That is Bev. Okay. No, Moonshine. Oh, Melora. I want to help, but you know what? I think I'm going to have to cure myself. I'm at 11. Oh, jeez. And they're gonna, I'm probably going to get hit next. You want to take the amulet? 
Oh, that's a bonus action, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I am going to... Do you want to use to... your amulet? Oh, yeah, you can do that that's between short action. rests. Yep. Right. Then you know what? I'm going to turn to the guy who just hit me, uh, and I'm going to say, I think you're going to want to put that thing down about his sword. No, I love dying. We're weird and fucked up. Okay, well, that's not <laughs> why I was referencing it, but then I'll I'll heat metal on the on his sword. Oh, okay. <laughs> 13 damage. He, yeah, he dies. His sword the, is so the, hot that he's the, dead. Yeah, the sword is so hot that he dies, yes. Okay. His, <laughs> his arm explodes in a heat explosion, and he writhes to the ground, <laughs> humping the air. Uh-huh. And I look to whoever I saw him kissing, uh-huh. and I say, it looks like you need a new partner, and then I blow a kiss of spores <laughs> at him. Uh, he gets poisoned a little bit, and he looks <laughs> fucked up, but he's not dead. And he goes... I love poison. These guys love dying. I love poison and dying. I almost feel like maybe we should keep them alive. I think we should keep one <laughs> alive and get yeah. some intel. Yeah. All right. Uh, that seems smart. Oh, that's my bonus action, yeah. so never mind. That's it. Cool. Uh, Bev, you're up. Okay. Um, I unsheath my sword and run towards the nearest one. Okay. And I want to, like, you know, stab him, but try and, like, run him up against a wall. Okay. Okay. It's a uh, 16 plus 8. That so, hits? Yeah, great. That's 11 damage. Okay. Okay. Um, he is dead. Oh, he's dead? Yes. <laughs> nice. Can I? <laughs> All right, fine. You wanted to ask him something. <laughs> I Do it to anyway to the dead body. All right. I uh, Yeah, I see that he's dead, and I grab him and scream, what does first base mean? <laughs> 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 And then uh, I, we goat men French all the time. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. And then I uh, use my second attack to target another goat. Cool. That's going to be uh, 14 plus 8. So that probably hits. Yes. Yeah. Um, and then I roll damage for them. That's going to be uh, 13. 13. Um, and as he's I'm. D- yeah, he's dead. As and I'm he's... slashing at him, I say, then what second base? <laughs> Uh, you cut through him, and it goes through the one that Moonshine spored. Okay. Uh, you kill two of them. <laughs> Damn. There <are> three left. <laughs> Somebody answer me. We've ne- never actually been to second base. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I feel a kindredness with you. <laughs> Do you love blood and dying? No. Well. <laughs> you guys aren't on the same team, then. <laughs> okay. Uh, Full that, start. That is old Cobb, who, without a second thought, just shoots them. <laughs> Uh, and he's gonna miss. He misses with his first shot. Bangs, just echoes through the cave so loud, some rocks fall down, just carelessly shooting a blunderbuss. You're still awesome, old cop. Hey, I'm trying my best, you know. <laughs> uh, and he rolls a one. He just blasts again, and a rock falls on his head. All right, Ow. old cop. All right. <laughs> I think I might good. be a little drunk. I was at the tavern <laughs> when, you, when you all called me. Yeah, when are you not, though? Yeah, you know what? <laughs> That's classic cop. That's uh, classic cop for you. All right, that is the three goat men who are going to launch forward at, I guess, Hard One. Why not? <laughs> hard One has 16 AC. We made a mistake last week. You don't have 18 AC. These guys are going to swing at you. Uh, first guy misses. Second guy still misses. And third guy actually hits. Four. Two damage. These guys are not good at fighting. They're good at dying, not good at fighting. Uh, That is actually you, hard one. You've got three goat men uh, all around you swinging at you. Great. I'm going to just like stare down the one that just hit me for two damage. And he he tries tries to make out with you. I am swinging my (laughs) Do you want to kiss? Uh, I'll kiss you when you're dead. All right. (laughs) I did roll a three. Oh, wait. 12. Does that hit? That does hit. (laughs) Jesus Christ. (laughs) Uh, that's a 12. Yeah, you cut through the one guy, he's dead, and you do four damage to the next guy, and he is pretty fucked up, but still alive. So cool. there's so two there's, left? Two left. Okay. There's two left. Is it worth, uh, like, grappling one and trying to ask anything about yeah, the cave? I yeah, I think we should. I'm yeah. always in favor of that. All right, cool. So I'll just, I'm going to kill one, but it, okay, knowing but that Okay, but not cleave through him? Cool, go for it. Yeah. Uh, that one hits. Cool. And that is a, that's a, an 11. Cool. Uh, finish him. He says to you, kill me. Uh, I, oh, it'll be awesome. I, I, kiss I his, can't wait to go to I, hell. I, I kiss his friend and I say, I can't wait to send you there. And I chop off his head. This is awesome. <laughs> so hot. He gargles and he dies. So there's only one left, right? So there's one yeah. left making out with hard one. His. No, he, I was kissing the head. I was just kissing his friend's head. 
Oh, just like a, a cheek kiss. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. It was yeah. a deep tongue, actually. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a cheek kiss. This is actually first base for the goat men. <laughs> oh, See, so we're, we move really slowly sexually, but we like to do fucked up blood stuff. God, you guys are weird. Why would you want to die before getting to second base? Well, second base for goat men is kissing without tongue. <laughs> So I guess death is better than that. Yeah. What? <laughs> well, no, we do that. I mean, I've been to third base. That's making out with, you know, touching tongues a little bit. Do you bit. ever fuck anything? I've never, I've never tried. Moonshine, kill him. <laughs> wait, wait, well, wait. I don't know. We're kind of awkward. We're goats. <laughs> Yeah, I I think that I'd like to like ready in action. Or are we in combat still? <laughs> I mean, yeah, technically, <laughs> we can't really do anything to you guys. I want all of us to. Grapple to him. I want all of us to grapple him. Okay, is yeah. what I'm so saying. you guys, you guys grab him. He is subdued. He can't even do anything. Is he horny? Okay. Is he horny because we grappled him? Okay. I'm horny for kisses. <laughs> yeah, we get it. Okay, Goat Man. Yes. Who's your fucking leader? What's the deal with these caves? Who do you report to? Have you always been like this? Have you always been? having blood orgies. Uh, I think a long time ago we were cursed uh, and maybe we're regular people, but th to me, I'm normal. This is normal. I'm a goat. Okay. I'm a goat, man. Nice. Right. Okay. Do you, is there someone more powerful than you in these caves? There is Dunn is everywhere. He is our God. We eat each other and dance in blood and kiss. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> I just need one piece of information from you. Is there anyone in this cave who is more powerful than you? Uh, and who are they? There's the lady that they took. They took her? Who took a lady? Who took the lady? Who took a lady? Last night, some guys came. They had weird, shiny clothes. Oh, my God. Uh -oh. And they came, and they grabbed the lady who's here, and she's mean. She cut, well, she's nice because we like uh -oh. dying. Oh, Where no. did they take her? Out of the tunnels. Fuck, that's my... Dang it. Friend. The <laughs> widow. Um, okay. Oh, then, y'all, can we just fucking kill this guy? Oh, yeah. Do you you wanna, can say it in front of me. I'm okay. Do you want to kiss him? Yeah, let's all kiss him. <laughs> yeah, let's all kiss we'll him. all kiss him, but Moonshine poisons him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. Old Cobb, this is very standard. <laughs> Old Cobb, get in here. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm more of a vanilla guy. <laughs> okay. I suppose I could kiss a goat, man. <laughs> I'm going to first base! Hooray! <laughs> Everybody kisses the goat and, and I, he dies. Okay. <laughs> and he tastes like salami that has been left out for a long time. <laughs> yep. All right. Well, we're done fucked, everybody. They they took the widow. They took... The Chosen took the widow. I mean, we, we are not here for the widow. And also, she could have just killed herself. They might have... Yeah, that's true. But they might have taken her to the dungeon as well. Oh, so we might find her in the dungeon. Yeah, anyways. we gotta just keep on going. It's to true. Yeah, She's I kind think of... we gotta keep going forward. Yeah, hard one. Is that okay with you? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. All right, just keep on plowing forward then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll find her. I promise. Oh, um, let's go. Laura, hey, that hold was... on. I know I was trying to track her down to kill her before, but now I'm tracking her down to save her. So I'm no matter what, I'm gonna find her, whether I kill her or not. You know, that's that's gotta. You know, besides the point, right? He's the coolest guy alive, old hey. cop. Moonshine vomits in the corner because of what she just saw. <laughs> <laughs> so those goats the, the really goats? fucking, like, disgusted her. <laughs> it was because it was the most inhospitable thing she's ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> not, not out of, like... <laughs> She's not afraid of death, but she is afraid of inhospitality. Oh, in his, yeah. So she's just retching in the corner. So they probably have my mom and they have Bev's dad yeah. in the jail. Yeah. In it's on, fam. Yeah. Uh, I do take a goat tooth. <laughs> you have a goat tooth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got to just keep on going through this cave. Should yeah. we? Can we rest? Can we take a short rest? Can we take a short rest? I, I mean, I my health is actually fine. Yeah, uh, I'm at 11 health-wise. Uh, um, I guess I'm going to look at the amulet and use that right oh, yeah. now. Did you not okay. use that before? No, I didn't. Okay, cool. Yeah, so do that. I use my hit die. You can also you can take a short rest and not use all five of your hit die. You can just use a couple of them or yeah. one of them. So like time, a lot of time won't so go by. So you guys have, you guys are level five. Mm -hmm. To take a short rest, it's like an hour or two out of combat. So the idea is that you guys are just like taking a breather. A day is not passing or anything like that. If you guys take a short rest, you guys have five hit dice to use throughout the day. So you can mm. say, I'm taking a short rest right now. I'm going to use two. 
I I'm see. taking a short rest right now. I'm going to use my other three. You don't have to use all five okay. right off the bat. Yeah, catch your breath. So if you guys want to take a moment, catch your breath, and gain a few hit die back, all right. you can absolutely do That's that. Cool. So I'm not at max, but I'm at 35. I feel fine with that. Okay. So you rolled three hit dice? Yeah. All right, cool. So I've got... All right. I used two. Great. I'm back up to 55. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm at full. Great. Old Cobbs. Fine. Good for old Cobb. Uh-huh. Yeah, just hit my shoulder back there, but I'll be all right. All right. <laughs> um, Beverly's getting pretty anxious. Cool. Uh, yeah, let's do it. I say we plunge ahead. We, we Time's a-wasting. Let's go. Let's do it. Cool. All right. You guys keep going up. You guys don't really hear anything, except you do hear some distant goat sounds again. You hear the... Let's oh, leave them be. Uh, I vomit. <laughs> They're killing themselves, I so grudge. that's fine. Uh, uh, you guys do. You guys find another excavation site. Let's peek in. Yeah, I'll, yeah. Put, I'll stealth in and peek in. Moonshine, sneak in and give me an investigation check. <laughs> Nat one. Nat one. Uh, How? Uh, you so go in, in and game. this just looks like an empty excavation site. Can I peek in with my night vision goggles? Yeah, you can go walk around. You'll have to walk in as well, though. Cool. Cool, go for it. God damn it. <laughs> I got a five. You look around. Just looks like a excavation site. Uh, I'll take a turn. Go for it. <laughs> uh, someone's got to roll for Papa too. The only one that ever sees anything. Yeah. That's a... Uh, hmm. Investigation. Oh, that's a four. Okay. All right. Bev, everything looks can in I order here. Can I roll for Papa? You can roll for everything Papa. Everything hunky-dory. He only got an eight. So. <laughs> but got what's an his eight. modifier? <laughs> Zero, I'm guessing. Cool. Um, yeah, you guys look around this excavation site. There's really nothing going on here. I mean, so we're not th- going deep. We we need to go up. Yeah, so let's keep on walking up. Just go back up the tunnel? Cool. Yeah. You guys leave and start walking back up the tunnels. Everybody give me a perception check. Okay. Not very perceptive. Nope. Eight. 19. Hmm. 19. Thank God. Uh, Um, Someone had to see something. Moonshine, you hear a (laughs) minecart rolling. Okay. Well, then. What do you tell these guys? I say, everyone hide. We got to see who's rolling through here. Okay. Everybody with advantage, since uh, Moonshine warned you guys, everybody roll a dexterity saving throw. Rhea rolling my one. Uh, 16. 16. Okay. 12. Y'all, fucking y'all, I re-rolled my one because I'm lucky, and your lucky Bev boy got a number two. That's so insane. I just want to give a quick shout out to the, the band of the two crew or whatever the fuck we call them. Uh, a and quick I guess fuck just, you to the two crew. And then Beverly just stands in the middle of the, the railroad track. <laughs> And prostrates himself. And prost- <laughs> so you guys you guys have walked down the tunnel a little bit, kind of away from the excavation sites. So Moonshine, as you say that, uh, you guys all kind of turn tail and start running. Old Cobb and Moonshine get ahead and jump out of the way into one of these like cave inlets to get out of the way. But Hard One and Bev, you guys turn to look behind you. You see a larger goat man with like big ram horns and five dudes in a cart with him, and he's got his head and his horns out in front of the cart, uh, and he rams into you guys <laughs> okay. uh, for 15 damage, and you guys are prone under, trapped under the mine cart right now. Oh, Everybody roll initiative. Right. Wait, so uh, just to be clear, when you say five guys, is it five goat men? Or like five of the smaller goat men that you guys saw, and one bigger goat. I wasn't sure if it was five people who were just using a. Oh my gosh! I think that guy's been to third base. (laughs) I rolled a six for initiative. Thirteen. Nineteen. Ooh, young Bev. A good roll. Front in line. I did roll a two, so. (laughs) Bev, it is your turn. You and Hard One are being pinned under it. There's this big goat man menacingly looking down at you uh, and a bunch of goat men in it with you. Uh, Roll a strength check to try to get out. I'm just saying, if if Hard One's pinned under it, wouldn't he be like fulcruming it so that I'm able to get myself free? Yeah, I say that's fair. Yeah, okay. Okay. So Ooh. can I free myself? Nice. Yeah, go ahead and My free yourself. My size is Bev's advantage. Yeah, I'm gonna say <laughs> you, one sure foot, yeah, you're just, of the mountain, full crumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're essentially you're essentially just getting out from prone, so you can use half of your movement to stand up. Okay, cool. Cool. You got this minecart full of dudes. Um, all right, I'm up. 
<laughs> I'm up. The, the, the big boy or the little guys? Hmm. Um, I'm a big boy. <laughs> oh my god, I hate. I mean, oh Melora, I hate these guys. I say, I scream. This guy fucks, but not in a cool way. <laughs> this guy fucks. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try and cleave the the four behind him. Oh, dope. Go for it. <laughs> Get rid of his minions first. <laughs> I love his uh-huh. to him. <laughs> cleave is awesome. Yes. I wanted this episode to just be a bloodbath. Ooh, and that's a. Is. 19 plus 8. Ooh. Super hits, believe it or not. I right. think on Bev, these shirtless goat men. I think <laughs> Bev just turned the faucet on on your bloodbath. <laughs> this is Diablo 1 is what this is. <laughs> yeah. You guys are in the labyrinth fighting goat men, killing them. All right, Wanton destruction. <laughs> Wanton? Wanton. Wanton destruction? Wanton destruction. Wanton, Wanton. destruction. <laughs> Wanton destruction. It's crispy and delicious. Uh, yeah. Here we go. Deep fried. All right, that's uh, 14. On um, the 14. first swing? Yep. Yep, that kills one guy. You slash through one guy. He he fucking falls apart uh-huh. like he's made of paper, like he's a goat pinata, <laughs> and you slash into the other guy and cut him pretty deep. Right. Oh, that cuts me deep, and I like it. The first cut is <laughs> I ask each of them which base they get to before they die. Third base in goat is kissing with a little tongue. Wow. All right. All right. What's um, your baseball diamond have? Like 17 bases? <laughs> I didn't say that though. I'm hiding. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna swing again. Cool. Go for it. Ooh, that's a three uh, plus eight. You rolled an eleven to hit. Yeah. That actually does not hit. Oh no. Yeah. Uh, so- One of the goats puts up their sword. Goes. I don't know why I'm stopping you if we like to die, but not <laughs> right now, buddy. <laughs> you want to die on your own terms. I understand. Yep. So this big guy gets out of the cart and he's going to attack with advantage on hard one and he's going to bite you Mm -hmm. for eight damage. And then he takes a second attack to ram you with his head with advantage. Uh, And he hits and he is going to hit you for 10, 10 damage. Damn. Never and thought I'd get my ass kicked by a goat. <laughs> that is old Cobb. Uh, old Fire up that blunderbuss, old Cobb. <laughs> old Cobb takes a shot at the big guy. Go I'm on. going for your big buddy here <laughs> then. Uh, and he's going to hit. That is six damage on the first shot from old Cobb. He hits again. That is 16 damage total from old Cobb. Nice. Uh, and this dude, you see the blunderbuss just blow this dude's shoulder off, and his one of his arms is just hanging by a thread, and he doesn't care. Good job, this Tom. is normal to me. <laughs> oh, my Laura, I hate these guys. <laughs> He's still alive. They make uh, me very uneasy. Yeah, they really make me uncomfortable. <laughs> Pelor has a big, there's a big chapter in the book of Pelor about kissing, and they have done everything wrong. Uh, so these four goat guys are going to take swings at Beverly, who's next to the cart. Wait, are they? St- there's still four of them? Yeah, because he missed on the second attack. Oh, wow. Uh, Wait, I, oh, there's four. There were five originally, yeah. There were five originally. You yeah, cut yeah. through one, and you hurt another one, yep. right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Um, so the first guy is actually going to hit. He just rolled a 19. Oh. Um, so he gets five damage. Second guy rolls, and he rolls a one. He messes <laughs> up big time. Uh, third guy misses, and fourth guy misses. Right. Moonshine, you're up. Um, okay, so Moonshine steps out of the shadows. Okay. Um, with her head down so you can't see her eyes. Ah. <laughs> and she says, let's have some fun, Gus. And then she looks <laughs> up and you can see like a psychedelic mushroom color swirling in her eyes. And I shillelagh my staff mm-hmm. and then transform into a fungus queen. Fungus Don't. queen! All hail. The fungus queen is here. <laughs> and then I, uh, spores. Cool. Who's, uh, who's the guy that Bev hurt? Uh, just one of the goats that's in the cart. You can okay. o- absolutely kill him with spores. Spore kiss. Spore kiss. Now that's first base. Well, it. kiss. <laughs> it's third base here. Oh my this is God. not right. I hit a triple and I'm dead. Oh God, I hate him. I hate <laughs> them. This is not the diamond that Pelor laid out. <laughs> Uh, and that is hard one. You are pinned. You uh, need to succeed on a strength check as an action to get out. Okay. I'm going to try to flip this card over. 24. 
24. I, hit it. I rolled a 19, yeah. Cool. You bench it off of you with all these goat men in. It's pretty dope. Uh, and you're able to pop back up. Do I get a bonus action or anything? You do get a bonus action, but that's not an attack. Very nice. Uh, so I can't attack anything. No. Then I guess I just flip off the big goat guy. <laughs> <laughs> wow, rude. We don't cuss. <laughs> Yo, really? Us goats don't cuss. I'm glad you have some high standards <laughs> okay. for yourself. Yeah. Blood I mean, Jesus, we'll okay, eat hearts but... and kiss, but... <laughs> right. Don't don't no say thanks. fuck you. Fuck Excuse you, man. Excuse you. <laughs> Excuse you. At least we finally know how to offend them, because <laughs> killing them wasn't working. Uh, yeah. That's right. So, Bev, you go again. Okay, cool. Um, am I in the cart currently? Sure. All right, cool. Uh, then I'm just gonna get a little dizzy. I'm just gonna spin around. <laughs> spin around with your sword. Try yep. to slice them up. There's three guys left. Tornado, baby. You're like a little salad chopper. Or something <laughs> like that. A blender. That's right. <laughs> yeah, you're like a blender. <laughs> a blenderly. You're, Beverly's on frappe. Make a goat smoothie with them, young Beverly. Mm. Do you like your smoothies with goat milk? <laughs> uh, six plus eight. What's that? Uh, 14? That yeah. hits. Yeah. Is that 14? 14. Yes. Do yeah, damage. Good. All right, cool. That's uh. Wait, eight. reroll. Oh, wait. Do I get to reroll no, on a damage? damage? No. no. Don't reroll. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's going to be eight damage. Eight damage? Yeah. You don't kill one. You oh, no. Really well, I'll do another attack. Then. Okay, do it up. There we go. Your goal here is to kill this guy and kill the guy next to him. Yeah. Come on, Blenderly. <laughs> uh, that's a uh, 15. That hits. Cool. Yeah. And that's going to be 13. You do. You kill Woo! two guys. Woo! Great. <laughs> So there's one little goat guy left, mm -hmm. one little goat freshman, and one goat senior. <laughs> <laughs> Seniors. Seniors are all. Senior goat. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> she hates him so much. Uh, that is Peace. the big That is the big goat. Uh, no decorum. Who I guess will take a crack at hard one. First with his bite, and he misses with a nat one. Give him my other finger. Ram him with his horns uh -huh. two ones in a row. He fucking falls <laughs> down. He just Great. he yeah. tries to ram can I you. Grab, can I grab him by the horns? Yes, you absolutely Great. can. Hell I'm yeah. holding this motherfucker cool. by the horns. Uh -huh. You have grabbed life by the horns. Uh, that is the other goat. There grabbed is, death by the horns. There is one yeah. left, and he is going to attack Beverly. You killed my friends. I like you. Now I'm going to kill you and eat your heart. <laughs> <laughs> that tracks. <laughs> and he misses. He whiffs big time. Uh, that is Old Cobb. Old, Old Cobb, Cobb, get in there. He's just gonna you shoot. teach these. Old Cobb is going to shoot at one teach of the little guys. Teach him some manners. Old season. Cobb rolls a one. Oh. Oh. Uh, he just blasts. Uh, you see rocks you... just fall from the tunnel. Uh, he's uh, not good at close. Cobb's cave yeah. in here. It's not good. It's not good. <laughs> uh, he shoots again. Um, he does hit that time. And he'll hopefully kill this guy. He does. Okay, so he blasts this other goat in the chest, just opens him up, and he flips out of the cart. Bev, you are in this disgusting goat man carcass cart. Cool. You're in carcass a carcass cart. cart. Carcass cart. <laughs> uh, that is Moonshine. All right, time for just the, the mushroom queen. Just the big queen. goat left. All right, that's who I wanted anyways, okay. so I'm going to attack him. We cool. saved you the big guy. Uh, that's definitely gonna hit. 18 to hit. That hits. All right. Now it's gonna be. It's gonna be six plus two is eight, but I, I get to add d6 of poison Ooh, damage. Yeah. It's a one, so it's gonna be nine. Okay. It's a fun one. And then uh, I'm gonna hack a little loogie at him. <laughs> hack a finish loogie him. spore <laughs> six. Oh, okay. I get to finish him. Yeah. All right. Hard then... one's got him by the horns. You know what? I'm just gonna take him and twist his body so that his neck snaps. Like and you just pull off his goat is, head. Yeah, and so hard one is just holding a goat head. Now. <laughs> Lift it up. You guys are like tag team opening a Coke bottle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you have a goat head in your hands. <laughs> no, uh, hard one does. You, you crack him open like a ice cold Corona. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna. Throw his. I'm gonna throw his damn corpse on the floor and say, "This place needs a welcome mat. There ain't no hospitality, so here is a welcome mat." I'm gonna drop kick his head down the rest of the shaft. <laughs> you just hear it echo. Boo, boo, boo. I really need to know what their Bible is like. Of all the things we have seen, I think this is some of the darkest shit we ever weighed in. Yeah. yeah. This is just downright wacky. I'm pretty fucked up. I'm going to roll my other three hit dice, I think. Yeah, you okay. want me to cure well, you? you? take your short rests. You guys also keep in mind that you can do, you can reset the Theala amulet thing every short rest. Oh, So you cool. can do an amulet, then short rest, 
and then it'll be back. For oh, nice. that's a good call. So, so I'll I'm look gonna at the amulet hit up first. that. Yeah, amulet. look at your amulet, then do a short rest. Mm, great. So you guys can get your so. HP back. I love how all of us are just like gathered around the amulet of Pelor, <laughs> just being like, Wait, "Can I look?" Yeah, at Yeah, yeah, I believe in Pelor. Oh, Let me look yeah, at the amulet. Let me look at that amulet. Oh, I'm back up to full. Cool. So what are you guys doing? You guys are in this hall now with all these goat bodies. We got to keep on walking up this. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Oh wait, 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 wait. Keep trucking. Let's let's get in the carcass cart. Yeah. Hard one. Can you push us? Right. You guys are going up a hill. Do you want to push me? Yeah, we don't want to do that. It's also <laughs> right. not. It's also like we probably got to still. But if there's a hill, there's going to be another. There's going to be a downhill for every hill. For every uphill, there's a downhill. Is what I was trying to say. <laughs> I think when you're climbing a mountain, you generally go up. You and Beverly. <laughs> Ah, oh, fair enough. Uh, just yeah, just we so we stop. We, we I'll, stop. I'll push you if you want. You're just a little guy. <laughs> push me. All right. Yeah, he pushes. <laughs> Old Cobb pushes Beverly in the cart uh, like he's a little baby going grocery shopping. <laughs> fair enough. Uh, so you guys make your way up the track. Uh, you guys go for a while. You pass some more of these little excavation sites and stuff. Um, but then you finally get out of the tunnel, and you guys enter a giant cavern. It is this big dome-shaped cave. The ceiling is up several hundred feet, and you see the dwarven city ruins sit in the center like an island surrounded by dark abyss that's just like an endless fall deep into the mountain below. Mm, huh. uh, this there is Cragstone. Is, is it Cragstone? Cragwater. Cragwater. This there is Cragwater. Is one long stone bridge from the tunnel that you guys are in to the city ruins in the center. Uh, you guys see that the ceiling of the cavern is lowest, just over the island in the middle with the city ruins. Okay, that's going to have to be where the dungeon is. Yeah. The highest point of the ruined city uh, is the ruined keep, uh, which is mostly still standing. You guys can see even from here that the first and the second floor appear to still be mostly intact. And there's one tower in the back that stands taller than everything else. Uh, you can also see torchlight coming from the castle and torches all around the ruins. Huh. Mm. And that's where we'll end our session. <laughs> oh. I think we're going to have to kill more goats. I don't as know if it's goats. They better not be dwarves. Oh, no. Those are my people. Whew. Well, we'll oh, man. save it for the short rest. Who's in the city, y'all? Guys. Know. I've got some speculations, but I'm saving it for the short rest. Yeah, guys, if you really want to... um. If you want to listen to us uh, talk more about the show and listen to the after show, it'll be available right now uh, on our Patreon. Patreon.com slash NADPOD. Yes. There you go. Patreon.com slash NADPOD. That's N-A-D-D-P-O-D. Don't sing the song yet. <laughs> Got it. Cool, guys. Now that it's the end of the show, we're going to shout out our benevolent council of elders. Uh, we appreciate the shit out of these legendary heroes of Bohemia slash legendary Patreon subscribers. We shall now read their names and heap praise upon them by weaving tales of their glory, starting with James B. Guys, James B. Did you know James B. was voted best Smile at Bullywug High School? No oh, shit. That's oh, tough. Do you have oh, really? any idea how good of a smile you have to have yeah. to be voted best smile of all of the Bullywugs? And they're not even a Bullywug. Then we've got Kim H. Kim H. pinned Ulfgar. No way. In wrestling. Whoa. Freaking defeated him in one-on-one -on -one combat. His gi fell off. Daniel Yu was the scoutmaster, the green team scoutmaster who officially fired scoutmaster Danny. Also uh, sliced the moon in half. Yeah, Daniel Yu mm. sliced the moon in half mm -hmm. and yeah. did some good, you know, uh, work with the green teams. <laughs> Then uh, we got Henry J, who's just straight up our friend in real life hey, and nice. is awesome, paying our Henry. Patreon. Thank you so much, Henry. Uh, You're just a good dude. Thanks, You're buddy. A, for real life, good dude. Thank you so much. Well, who's uh, the person who the word friend is named after? Uh, yes. Yo, tweet out. Let's hang out when I'm in Nashville. Yeah. Jordan J. Thank you so much, Jordan J. Jordan J. actually hangs out with Pelor. So Pelor is a big buff Santa Claus god yeah. that kind of flies on a carnival cruise ship <laughs> through the sky. <laughs> and, That's a new permanent detail. Right. And Jordan J. is like one of the air titans that yeah. carries the carnival cruise oh, ship through oh, the sky. Yeah. He's just sort of a semi-god. Yo, they just pound shrimp together. Right. And then we've got Xavier C. Xavier C. just uh, beat the shit out of some 
some centaurs, uh, <laughs> some nasty centaurs yeah. Yeah. that were causing trouble down at the crick. And, uh, and then we've got Matthew W., who is, in fact, a direct descendant of Cord. <gasps> oh, damn. Uh, the, For real. S- the freaking son of a He's god. He's a demigod. He's a gift from Cord to Bohemia. No. Uh, sort of a mix of Hard One's dad and Hercules. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And we've got uh, Danielle D., mm. Um, who actually forged the amulet of Fiala. Wow. Oh, shit. Oh, that yeah. is a powerful out of, blacksmith. Out of unicorn tears and um and stardust. We'll call the, that the godsmith. Caught the, caught the unicorn themselves, too. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, Andrew A. I've heard songs <laughs> of Andrew A. Uh. Oh, yeah. Andrew A. actually was like a, a general in the war against the giants. Wow. wow. And yeah. beat Mishka at arm wrestling, which True. is tough. She's yeah, very yeah. stubborn. Mm-hmm. John S., uh, who actually let Mishka win at arm wrestling. So actually, this, their story is a story of empathy. Mm. Wow. What also, did... Cutter W., uh, famous architect at the Crick. Huh. What does he sort make of... the stumps? Yeah. <laughs> Makes the stumps, yeah. Design the stumps. Yeah, they, stump they cut down the yeah. trees. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. And then detect. Will L, of course, legendary wizard who literally doesn't need a spell book. It's Whoa. all fucking up in his head. Wow. Whoa. Sort of like Lil it's Wayne a, doesn't write down his raps. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's all in. It's Will's like a head. freestyle wizard. Yeah. That yeah. is incredible. Drinks equally as much cough syrup. Yeah. Parker E actually, uh, uh, Parker E was like a Pied Piper, but for um, goat men. And oh. led them out of Galateron. Whoa. Wow. Into the sort of, sort into of in the, crag water. Oh, okay. Oh, they yeah. should just run you around. Rid Galateron of, of, yep. the, of the goat. Uh, and then, oh man, we got even more. We got even more friends. Uh, we got Simon W., who um, has a whole stable of dragons that they ride. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Dope. Yeah. Like a rainbow Picking stable. one out every day? Yeah. I think it's like rich people who have like a different car for every day. Mm-hmm. So they've got like a Bentley dragon and like a Maserati dragon. Wow, that's insane. It's very cool. Fancy. Uh, Griffin S., um, an actual Griffin. <gasps> wow. Yeah. Oh. No way. Um, like an awakened griffin, a very smart griffin very who can smart. fly through the sky. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Also like an accomplished graphic designer. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Dylan B., uh, a legendary fighter uh, who has mastered the art of holding 12 swords at once. That's a lot. That's insane. Yeah. yeah. That seems like too much work, but it, I mean, if, if you can make it work for you. They're like a sword dancer, you know? Mm. This is what earns you a spot on the Council of yeah. Elders. You don't get that just, yeah. just, just, just for showing up. Their specialty, they're called the Exterminator because they uh, have so many swords, they can easily chop off all the limbs of a giant spider. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Um, Tom P., Oh, Tom P. Oh, Tom I swear to Tom P. Tom P is sort of the Genghis Khan of uh, Bohemia. Like, it's like, you know, you can trace all your DNA (laughs) back to Tom P. I swear to Tom P. Uh (laughs) Tom P is everyone's dad. (laughs) Father of the realm. In any time. Sort of the Adam. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Timothy Alexander L. is, of course... Mm. Part angel. Yes. <laughs> part angel, part devil, actually. Yeah, it's really, yeah, it's really cool. An angel had sex with a devil. <laughs> they like angel food cake and devil sticks. Yeah. And uh-huh. that's kind of the in- internal <laughs> torment for Just them. an overall rad person uh-huh. who has cool wings. Yeah. Sort of a Sephiroth. Mm. Absolutely. If you will. Who mm. can, a, is really good at Sort of a sticks. good Sephiroth. Mm. Yeah. Um, Hugh C uh, is a changeling. Mm. They can become anything. Uh, they could become anything or anyone and just, you know, take the first and middle initial of someone else's name if they wanted. Hugh C. would have succeeded on the Bullywug mating call. Oh, Whoa. wow. Whoa. A master of deception. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we've got Andrew D., who is um, a I- legendary buff kobold. Ooh. Kicked Hard One's ass one time. Yeah, yeah fucking right, dude. You know those I like don't care who you are, hey, the man. Of El- elders, all right. You know, those, <laughs> you know those strongman games they have. Uh, Andrew D wins every year. Yeah, yeah. can push so many trucks. He's a plump ass. <laughs> <laughs> Just like two beautiful maraschino cherries. Uh, I got to think these uh, this next group of people that actually I grew up with in, in the Dwarfenage. Whoa. Uh, you guys maybe have heard uh, tell of them, uh, but. Jeffrey S. Uh, made hard one sweat during an arm wrestle. 
Whoa, wow. if you can imagine. So just Ooh. kind of put up a decent I, fight? Well, I still beat him handily, but right. yeah, there was it like a time seems where more of an Hardwell ego thing for nervous. you, right? Yeah. I mean, he sweat blood. Yeah. yeah. Well, Daniel F.J. actually, uh, once at a party, almost drank as much beer as Hard One. Oh. <laughs> sort of drinking one and a half beers at a time one instead, of, instead, instead time. of two-handing it. Absolutely fun theme. crazy. Okay. Uh, Spencer T., uh, mm-hmm. he once tried on my socks, and they didn't fall immediately down. Like his calves oh. were pretty... <laughs> They're like not bad, yeah. right? You must like go through elastic so quickly. He's like a size eleven, yeah. but Hard One's a size fifteen. Yeah, right. Well, Andrew M. Uh, straight up kissed Hard One's ex after mm. they broke up. Whoa! Like wow. minutes, minutes yeah, after, like a rebound, just like, Ugh. but like just mere, like not even minutes, seconds. She like turned around to make Hard One jealous. Wow. <laughs> uh, Taylor B. Uh, he is the best woodblock player in Iron Deep. Oh. oh shit! So that's why beat. hard one. That's who. Yeah, that's why I aspire to be. Uh, Manual P uh, got hard one out in Dodge Rock at the Dorfinage. <laughs> that's like dodgeball, except you. It's with a rock. You throw right. rocks. I don't get it. Uh, Pedro E caught the rock the next round and got hard one back in. Oh, oh wow! Shout out to Pedro E. <laughs> Shout out to all these people that are almost as cool as hard one. <laughs> <laughs> And that's what gets up, up on the Council of Elders. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we'll plug our Twitters. At uh, CHMurf is me. At Axford is Emily. At Jake Hurwitz is Jake. At Caldy is Caldwell. Guys, please buy me and Emily's book. It is available on Amazon. It is called Hey You Up, How to Turn Your Booty Call into Your Emergency Contact. It is a satirical relationship advice book. Um, it's also on Audible if you want to hear the audio book. Caldwell, we also have some people to thank. We have some people that sent us some oh, goodies. I have some a, very a big scroll full of beautiful names. Oh, and I'm going to read them aloud. Please read them. Uh, people have sent us stuff to our P.O. Box, which is 1920 Hillhurst Avenue, number 222, Los Feliz, California, 90027. And those people are Matthew Millions, who sent us uh, this beautiful stuffed pawpaw. With a bandana that says pawpaw on it, and did, have I been holding it this yeah, entire time? I was just going to so, say, Emily has held yes. it the whole episode. I have photos to prove it. Yeah. <laughs> I think that it improved her roles, even the bad ones. I mean, Papa rolled pretty well. <laughs> That's really very did. true. Yeah. Uh, I want to give a shout out to James T., who sent us these very fun uh, 3D printed dice jails, which um, have a little oh, one on it. top of them. And uh, we, we we punish our dice when they're bad, and they go in the dice jail. And James C., didn't James C. ask, because he's the one who sent us these other uh, dice, the ones that we all use. Yeah, th- and he asked if the three ones that I rolled were with the purple dice that he sent us, and yes, they were. <laughs> yeah. However, I believe that since then, I have synced up and have pretty good energy with my dice now. Exactly. Yeah. Speaking of uh, of fancy dice, um, we got an unknown set of these really cool metallic teal uh, fantasy dice. I don't know who they're from. Uh, and, and if you sent those to us, please uh, give us a shout out. Make hit us yourself up on Twitter. known. Yeah, yeah <laughs> reveal yourself, coward. Holy shit, they're so cool. Uh, we also got some cool fantasy coins, which we use to do a coin flip. Uh, those are from which knocked that dude. Yeah, off which the killed train. a dude. Yeah, yeah. So, killed so, a knight with fifty-two HP. Thank and, uh, you for helping hit. us kill. If you want your own fantasy coins, you can go to the Fantasy Coin Kickstarter. Learn more at fantasycoin.com. They are dope. They, are they would be great. Cool. Uh, mm-hmm. Just throwing this out there because. Me and Murph had a lightly Lord of the Rings themed wedding. <laughs> he would have been a freaking awesome wedding gift. Oh, to, like give, a favor? to make like a like a wedding favor to do like uh, a dope gold fantasy pieces. coin. Yeah. Damn, I'm gonna try using them at the grocery store. <laughs> Caldwell's been arrested and he can't be on the show anymore. For uh... I tried to put him in a red box. Yep. <laughs> you have to record the show from jail now. <laughs> you think they'd let you do a podcast from jail? Nope. Uh, that's a you know what? Hey, I fair. would definitely listen to a jail podcast. Same. Yeah. Dude, Jailcast. Join me. That's a Patreon exclusive podcast. Check it out. Uh, quick shout out also to Abby and Jeff who sent some cool uh, Drawfy centric stuff. Uh, watch Drawfy, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Jake, you got anything to plug? I don't know if I'm in Europe anymore when this episode comes out. But okay. if I am, come see me <laughs> and you're in Amsterdam and Dublin. Go to their website. Check them out. Make yeah. sure you're up to date on the tour dates so you can see when Jake and Amir are coming to you. That's and of course, right. listen to If I Were You. Yeah. Ah. Thank you, guys. Uh, cool, guys. We're going to record the after show now. So go listen to that. It's available right this second. Patreon.com slash NADPOD. That's N-A-D-D-P-O-D, baby. We are, we are. You the, the nation. nation. We are, we are. We are, we are. Subscribe to our Patreon. That was a headgum podcast. <laughs> <laughs>